Hello and welcome to another episode of the Never A Straight Answer podcast, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host Gaz and joined, well, he'll probe you, but he'll buy you dinner afterwards. You know him, he's Mr. Taylor. Yeah, good evening. Oh, what do you want, McDonald's or KFC? <laughs> he'll buy you a bit. He'll take you to a spud you like. Welcome, welcome oh, yeah. to the show. Yeah. Thanks for joining us <laughs> for another week. And it's been a week. Uh, it has. Yeah. It's been a mad week. Oh, it's been a bit of a fast week, I think, to be honest. Yeah. Do you find that? It's like when sometimes you're around, you're like, the week just flown by and you're like, where's it gone? But yeah, so other weeks lately has been f- f- crazy, Isn't it? Man. Do you know it's when you're working as well? Because obviously there's a lot of people who were off with uh, furlough or the lockdown and stuff. And, um, yeah. you know, when you work, your days just drag, don't they? And it's like when you take a holiday and then you're all like, my week's just gone. Why does yeah. it never last that long when I'm working? But then it, now it's like you wake up and it's a time before you know it. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's only because you're getting up in the afternoon mainly because no, of you are. Up for in the day. You are. Oh, I, can, yeah. I, I turned oh, my yeah, telly on the other morning oh. and he was still on the Xbox. Oh, and I, I know I, he's I not an you. early riser, so we know for a fact he was just going to bed. My, my, oh, I, I seem to be getting worse every fucking month or something because the timings, it's like I can't get to sleep till about 7 o'clock in the morning, then I'm getting up, you know, to uh, to do stuff. What like game are you playing at to. the moment? Um, Generation Zero is oh, it's massive, is it engrossing? Mate. Is that what it is? Because I do it. It is engrossing, I mean, but I, I, I find I find myself like zoning out. I mean, we were playing um, because the, the new update for Call of Duty came out, and yeah, it's it a did, brilliant yeah, new, zombie new zombie map, right? Yes, yeah, it got me boring actually. To be honest, well, I've yeah, because you you quick. went into a single player on your own, so that yes, doesn't count, that right? And you know, but when you're playing with your mates, it's totally different. But we went in mm. and we must have done like a few. F- a few rounds, about five or six, seven rounds, and okay, in about five before hours, we it? looked, it was like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. It was like, where's that gone? Yeah, this so, is an issue. This is going to be a more yeah. of an issue as time goes on, I think. But wow. uh, I, you know, I, I got me stuff done. You know what I mean? It's he gets just, his. Um, he takes care yeah. of business, ladies. Yeah, that's he does. It. But he, then <laughs> I'm laying in bed, going like, right, what do I do now? And then I, I this is where he takes care of most of his business, ladies. Oh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> we've got, we're gonna we've got a fully probing uh, episode this um uh, this like week, and um, with claims <laughs> of alien abduction, it's yeah. of course the Allegash abductions incident, uh, maybe one yeah. of the most um it's most evidence for one um you know for intelligent yeah. life, isn't it? And yeah, we'll and it's a bit of a weird one as well. It's slightly different to um, most common ones. Well, uh, it's funny you should say that, though, because I've seen a couple of, like, alien abduction cases that mm. are very similar to this. So, you know... Yeah, but it, 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 to me, it's the after effects and the, uh, the beforehand as well is slightly... It, so, some could be co- uh, put it as common, but in other ways, it's not. Okay, well, There's we'll be talking about yeah. that and the alleged incident a little bit later on. Mm. Uh, so make sure you stick around for that. But well, before Definitely. we get into all that, what have you been up to this week, Mr. Taylor, sir? Me, I've been looking up more UFO stuff, to be honest. Been, been, we have all, we've, we've both been looking yeah. up a lot of UFO stuff this week. We've got yeah. a lot of UFO shows coming up. We yes, know you like yeah. it. So, you yeah. know, we've got a lot more um, alien, alien That's it. And uh, uh, there's like some, uh, uh, there's some like big news that's coming up in the news later on. That, um, where they've uh, exposed themselves, out. they've come forward and said, "Yeah, we're here." Yeah, I'm surprised I, I you've not seen it. Off, I show him my dingling, and then I go back up. You Is that what he said? Exposed himself. It was it was um, a close encounter <laughs> of the third kind. Oh yeah, well yeah, and that's where the probing come into involvement. You don't need that. <laughs> no, well, you don't. I've just been uh, doing a bit of eBay. I've been trying to sort. I mean, like sorting out some bits and putting it on eBay, and it's so time consuming. I, yeah, I work out yeah, why I never bother. Do you know what I mean? When I think, oh, I've got, should get stuff on eBay, and then I think, ah, oh, do you know what? It's, it's not only that. It's it's like right. I've got two choices. You have got to take a photo of the item. Yeah. yeah. So it's rather I take a photo of it with my phone, which means I've got to sort it all out on my phone because I've got to <laughs> upload the photo, or I take yeah. it with a camera and then I have to transfer the photos. And yeah. it's a whole load. Of, there's a hassle. In, there's a load of messing about. Yeah, so, computers you know, were supposed to make it more easy. Oh, but, it's mm. t- it, it, I put a load of stuff on it. It took me a, a whole day 
So, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like one of them. So, you yeah, know, let's see. This, uh, this is we'll just going to be the common fact in uh, the future. We'll all turn, we're, we're all going to be Dell boys. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We're all and it's be an like, open market at the moment. All right, mate. You know? so, and I, people haven't got money I as I well, think, so then you've got to think of that. Well, people it's, being more cautious. It's been um, a really nice week as well, though, weather-wise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, start, it feels like we're coming out of the, the winter, winter cold snap, yeah. at least. And uh, yeah. That's something to look forward to. Today has been really, really nice. I don't know yeah, where it's been like in the UK, rest of the U- rest of the world, rest of the UK. I know it's been like a heat wave been in snowing. Australia. It's been amazingly it? hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be raining next week. It's where like we four, have the sun. forty degrees or something yeah. at the minute. It's a good hot summer. So, do you know what? It just made me think though. This time last year, they were having issues because of the heat. So, fingers yeah. crossed that it's you know, you well, know, I know manageable. It's Last year and the year before about how when we were getting rain, they were getting the sun. When we were getting the sun, they were getting the rain. It seems to combinate that, like, you were getting the difference to what we you were can, getting. Uh, you know what I mean? It seemed a little bit interesting. Yeah, I wasn't looking for it, but I noticed the mark that, it's his conspiracy you know, it brain still... ticking along, isn't it? He's like, oh, oh I've tried, like, just, just trying scouring to connect the news, things together so we get a better line. News, trying to we find know what's the, going on. the answers. Or could it be the flat, uh, uh, the flat Earth thing? You know that made we had. A, oh yeah, well <laughs> it could be. We, you know what I mean? Could be anyway. It's questionable. Uh, we're on the road to coming out of the lockdown now. Yes, yes. The, on the road yes. again. Everyone wants to go to the pub. Seeing nobody again. Yeah. yeah Boris, yeah. Boris Johnson's put out his um, road to recovery. Um, saying by, by June now we'll probably be all good. Yeah, Maybe. Yeah, by his birthday. Who says? June the 22nd, I think. Oh, got his just in time for his birthday. Yeah. So he can have a party, can't sure. you know? It's, People it, can it, go it's, out and buy gifts. It's funny, though, because there's been a lot of celebrities who have been getting um, shunned at the moment and told in the papers for, you know, yeah. like breaking lockdown rules. And he's no, uh, right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like you say, right. I mean, at least Boris is waiting until the lockdown's over if he wants to sell his, celebrate his birthday, aye? So, you know. Yeah, yeah, but maybe the day after he'll go, right, lockdown again. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, he could do. He's, he's he like, do, that's yeah. the ultimate loophole, isn't it, really? Oh, yeah, he's the man's in charge, isn't he? Well, somebody emailed me um said that it's vanished in the States, COVID. So it can't yeah. be, that can't be true. No, it's definitely not true. Well, they said yeah, he saw it in a news report, and I thought, hmm, no, nah, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. Was it, it, was what, it was from it Fox? the Nationals? <laughs> was it Fox News or something? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. If he was from the Nationals, <laughs> disregard it, because he's probably bullshit anyway. Yeah. Well, we're um, just a, a bit of a reminder, um, mm. we're going to be um, on Superpod, the Superpod Festival next week. Is it next week or week after next? Uh, week after next, we, Well, think, that's yeah. even more time for you to yeah. get your donations in, because it is for a good cause, and it is yeah. all going to children in need. So, and which we need is you a really to come good, and listen. A really good uh, cause to, to donate to. So, yeah, um, and yeah, um, we'll be posting out links to where you can actually listen, because it's going to yeah. be a full day of podcasting stuff. Yeah, uh, there's going to yeah. be podcasters uh, from all, all over the place, types. all different types, yeah. um, from all different kind of walks of life. We we're going to be, um, one of them. yeah, and we're going to be there as well. So, um, yeah. we, you know, we'll get the link out. So make sure yeah. you do come cool. and check that out. And yeah. um, there'll be good day. ways that you can kind of uh, get involved and um, show your support there, too. So, yes. um, again, we'll post a bit more stuff about that as time, as the time goes gets on. closer. Yeah, and um, we we missed chain connections last week because we had a bit of a big episode ish, but like, um, yeah. we did have a winner eventually. We did, we did, yes. Yay! Congratulations to congratulations. Alistair in Dublin. Yes, for getting it right, it was. Check out the big brain on Brad. So what was it? Yeah. For the so people it was, at home. it was actually uh, like a, a an Earth sized planet. It was, wasn't it? Uh, uh, called 2008 AG 37. Uh, it was it was pretty hard uh, question. How, how so did he get I that? I must admit. <laughs> yeah, I know. How Brainiac, did he get that? Brainiac's not listening to the show, you know. He, he, I did. I just got an so email cool. going. I think you'll find that it's and and give me that. And I went. Ah, I'll have to check with Taylor because <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Right. I didn't know. So yeah. Was, yeah. So well, well done. Yeah. I'd only know because I found out about it. <laughs> we might have to have like a, a showdown with all our winners. Do you know? Like, uh, do you know who's? I mean, Harriet's in the like lead at the moment because she's got two right. Um, yeah, yeah, she's well in the lead there. Yeah, so we'll 
See if um, yeah, Alison can like get another one next one. week. See what happens, eh? Um, uh, well, we've got some more clues for you this week uh, delivered yeah. through the episode, so pay attention. And we you are. may be joining uh, Harriet, Alistair, and other, many others in uh, yeah. the Hall it's of Fame. It's been a few now, yeah. yeah it's been a it's few. Been it's been a few. Now, yeah. um, got some brainiacs out there. Totally. Uh, the clues are, um, could be audio, cryptic, or visual, depending if we put a video out that week. But yeah. you send us your guesses wrong or right and give us the reasons why you feel that these um clues connect and yeah. uh first clue this week is it a cryptic clue it is right okay i've not heard these so you know i'm yeah. playing along with you so give us the first clue mr taylor well the first clue comes up to me they come in different colors shapes and sizes Fucking hell! Yeah, yeah it's, that, it's well, a bit like, of a, a bit of an open one, that one, isn't it? They come, yeah. Well, that could be anything. That could be a packet of fucking M and M's. Could be. Yeah, I don't know. Right, okay. <laughs> so they see. come in all types of shapes, colours, and sizes. That yes. is a very cryptic clue, Taylor. Yes, Thank you for is. that. Well, while you're yeah, having a ponder, imagination running <laughs> on that. Um, this week's episode is brought to you in association with T Public. Um, yeah. The world's largest marketplace for independent creators to sell their work on yes. high quality merchandise. Um, every T public purchase supports independent artists, podcast streamers, and other creatives like us. We're on T public, you know, yes, so are. it's got to be amazing, hasn't it? Well, we've got a yeah. load of designs on there and merch mm-hmm. and stuff, and you can go and check out our store over on T public. At the moment, they've got a 40% off sale, and that's hey. across everything. So, Sale. check the link in the description. Go and get you yourself a well t-shirt, a mug, or a sticker, yeah. or a baseball yeah. cap, or a and pinny for, or whatever you want. Yeah, they even do cushions, so you can lay there and, and lay your head on a never a straight answer pillow. Yeah, looking at his A pillow dream of dreams. Mm. Looking at a picture of Taylor. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to do that. Give, give you nightmares. nightmares. Yeah, no. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a face for radio. <laughs> Definitely like... face for radio. But, uh, well, <laughs> um, uh, besides Taylor's uh, appearance, yeah. we've, we've got a really good episode this week. We really have. And um, we were talking earlier about um, abductions and specifically yeah. the Allagas abduction. It's yeah. It's gone down as being like some of the best proof for the existence of of alien yeah. and alien alien and um extraterrestrials yeah would you say yeah i say it's got a good um it's it's got a good bunch of evidence eyewitnesses and it's it, it seems that the story with quite a lot of them it seems that the story is there's the, there's something there if the story isn't what they're saying there's still something there well the witnesses said the incident it basically started on August the 20th in 1976 uh, yeah. when four men, uh, all in their early 20s, uh, went out on a camping expedition into the wilderness of Allagas um, in Maine in the United States. Uh, the group uh, consisted of two brothers, Jack and Jim, um, and their friends, Charlie and um, Fol- Faltzy. Yeah? Or is it? Yeah. Yeah? Faltz. Faltzy. Yeah. Fol- Faltzy, yeah. And the guide, yeah, Chuck Norris. No, it wasn't, yeah, it wish wasn't Chuck. We, we, we wish it was Chuck Norris. Um, it was Chuck Rack. Um, they they basically say on the first day it all went well, no incident. Yeah. However, on the second night, they noticed um, a bright light not too far from the campsite, which they thought might have been some, do you know, like a helicopter or you know, a Star weather balloon. Or or, past. Would you think it was a might be? What would you think? You mean you're camping out and it's in the middle of wilderness? You would, and you you wouldn't expect to see anything bright in the sky, but and a helicopter wouldn't be stationary, would it? It, it I mean, but again, well, nobody's no, saying that, that this rocking. light was moving. For a start, when well, they see a yeah. light and it's moving across the night sky, you might think it's a helicopter. Yeah, or the ISS, or you know, it could be just. It could be. Well, just back in 1976, when was the ISS up? Yeah. Oh no! It would be no. Would that seventy six? I mean, nowadays no. you might, but uh, was it me or um, Sputnik? Uh, uh, yeah, the Russian one that went up. I can't remember the years they went up. To be honest, I think that was in the eighties, but I think it was in the late seventies that it started. 
Uh, well, but it could be any, anything from like a meteorite going by and something like that. I well, mean, well, they, or even a star. Well, they basically said that it, it was a strange quality of light, so it wasn't like, you know, you yeah. kind of you can look up at the sky and see a plane and you can kind of know it's a plane because you know what the kind of light it gives off and yeah, the patterns the closeness... that it kind of gives and like those like blinking patterns and stuff. And yeah. and even the kind of the layout of the lights kind of give it yeah. away, don't they? So, like, yeah, yeah, when you're yeah. looking up and you're kind of trying to work out something and you kind of can't really make it out, but the light or the glow of the light or the ambience of it yeah. isn't quite right as well. Yeah. That yeah. must, you know... Yeah, well, yeah, well, I suppose it it would probably get them chatting about it, but I don't think they would be necessarily at the beginning, like, worried about it. But then again, when you're out in, like, uh, them kind of environments, you're your um, senses are going to be in heightened. So you're going to be more careful or try and be more careful. And and just remember that something's happened over there. Let's just, you know, stay away from that area. You know, well, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't, where was that? Over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll go yeah, the opposite way. Yeah, we'll go the opposite way. Yeah, so, well, uh, I think we're going to have a nice camping trip. We don't want yeah, any... Yeah, we don't want any know. incidents. Well, yeah. so, suddenly, I mean, they're looking up in the sky, trying to identify it, trying to get... A, a gist of what this this light is and what this object yeah. is, and suddenly it just well from their perspective they say it imploded, yeah, and just disappeared, yeah. yeah. So the following day, they woke up, kind of talked it over over breakfast, and was like, "Well, that was weird, wasn't it, last night?" You know, yeah, and um, went out. Carried on with the the fishing trips and the hunting and kind of the camping experience. And the, the day, it just kind of went without an incident at first. You know, the men yeah. were pretty kind of... Apparently, they didn't do very well with the fishing. Yeah. Oh, bad luck, lads. Yeah, well, they thought, let's do a bit of night fishing. Yeah. yeah. So, why not? So I thought, you know, nice, clear night. Let's do it a bit of night fishing. We might have a bit more luck. So, yeah. they set up camp on the shore of um, the Eagle Lake. And this was on August 20th. Yeah. Got a bit dark and the men built a fire, you know, started getting settled in. And for a few hours, they used it as a beacon so they could find the campsite again. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. basically, they headed out in a canoe, and if they needed to, they knew where, which direction, or if they get a bit got a bit turned around, they knew where they were in relation yeah. to where the camp was. Yeah. So um, they're all out on, like, canoes. You've got Jack and Jim, uh, Charles yeah. and Fultz and Chuck, right? After a while, they noticed the bright light again had appeared in the sky, yeah. But now, mm-hmm. you know, they've, they've seen it two nights now. So before... Getting more suspicious now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they've basically seen it over the tree lines. Um, it, they've caught... They've basically... It's got to come to their attention that, you know, it's, like, there. And it was kind of, like, hovering. Almost yeah. sort of, like... Uh, observing them if you like yeah yeah uh, yeah so they were watching it for quite a while until it started getting a bit larger do you know what i mean so it's like coming a bit closer yeah yeah there's no sound to it so it's all more like you know quite ominous this ominous craft this object's coming towards you and there's no motoring there's no you can't see anybody there you all you can see is this bright light coming towards you well, with no indication of using control of it well, Fultz grabbed the flashlight and he began to flash an SOS signal. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, he, every, I assume everyone's panicking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I imagine like, so, yeah. You've got this light and it's literally just creeping its way closer and closer and closer to you. Yeah. yeah. To the point where you've got nowhere you can go. You're in a boat. Yeah, and you're in a canoe. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you've got, what options have you got? It's like a stalker. It's like it's like uh, they're the victims and they're being stalked by the hunter. By well, that that's point. how it and seemed. Yeah, like they yeah. were being stalked because yeah. so, you know suddenly there was a beam of light. Yeah, and it shot out yeah. of the bottom of the craft and mm-hmm. basically quickly made its way towards the men. Yeah, yeah. So all yeah. the man men began to paddle. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck. You were friend. like, who the fuck are we got? You yeah. know, seriously, I what are you going to do? Up. I would have dove in the water. Yeah, first layer. Yeah. Oh. 
I would have well, gone. Yeah. I would have submerged myself. I would have gone straight under. I've seen Myth, I've seen Mythbusters. Yeah. I mean, well, well like yeah. in Mythbusters, I mean that's explode. I've seen. You know what? What would happen if you were in an explosion? Would you diving under the water protect you? Now, yeah. I'm only you know going to assume that they've got a tractor people. beam. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever you know, if I, if I'm if I'm under the water, then a they might have a bit more of a difficult time seeing me. Yeah, but I've well, got a bit a of big cover. spotlight on you, so I don't think. Well, is it a spotlight time, or is it a tra- is it like a tractor beam? Whatever it is, it's got light there, and it will be able to visualize you. Unless the the, uh, the water was really mucky, you know what I mean? I should imagine that you could see the silhouette of the bodies under there. I would imagine. Well, this um, it seemed to be kind of getting on top of them. The um, the object was close. Yeah, yeah. suddenly the light was over them, over the canoes of all the four like men. Yeah, and it was lights out. Yeah. The next thing they knew, they were back on the shore of the campsite. Yeah. It's now, you could argue that was, that's all well and good, just blacked out, you know, and, you know, they, they, nothing happened to them. They'd all had a bit of a, a bad experience, maybe, or a group hallucination, mm. maybe. I don't know. Well... I, it, Could you say enough, that the, 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 the being out on the water was playing tricks with them? Playing tricks with the mind? Who knows, you know, but... Well, yeah, could be heat stroke and stuff like that. It could be involved in that kind of mental... But all of them at the same time, that's that's that, that's a, a, that's a that's the difference. Well, when they stood up and turned around, the craft was still there. Yeah. Oh, two they, pants time. They stood there staring at it. Right, it hovered, it didn't make a sound, and it just basically hovered a bit, about a few feet to, few feet from him, right? Mm. They watched it for several minutes, and then the craft suddenly imploded again, as it done the night before, yeah, and just basically disappeared again. It just That's vanishes nice. again over the... I mean, it, it's just, it, it seems like it's kind of like turned into like a singularity if you like and just like traveled on that if you yeah. know it, it's not you it's it's kind of condensing its mass to travel that's yeah, how it yeah, seems yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they do yeah. describe it as being able to retreat over the treetops to the other side not of the only lake that, with the speed you would uh, uh, expect with a force coming from the object that they would have had some kind of reaction you know like hit back you know, like if you stood behind an air, aeroplane jet, then you're gonna, you know, you're gonna like, feel yeah, it. Yeah, you get fucking a bit of pushback, wouldn't you? A bit of kickback. Yeah, I would have thought more than just a bit on the on the power and force of it alone. Because don't forget, it's a light. It must be uh, light for the uh, for the speed. Uh, it must have some kind of um, mass well, it, it, there because it's carried everything in there. It's funny you should say that about and be getting some kickback because it did all say that he felt like exhausted afterwards. Like they've I been would, deprived of sleep for a, a, honest, a long time. Do you know what I mean? I would add radiation onto that one. I would add uh, the radiation effects of uh, outside uh, the uh, and the light, not necessarily inside the craft, but outside the craft. I would say that because uh, it, it time and time again, uh, every time this is a, a good part of evidence that they leave like um, radiation signs there, which is a good indication for us. It tells us where, like, there's a spot where I live up here where uh, there's a, a patch and it, there was a UFO uh, spotted there years ago. It was put on the phone and uh, stuff like that. What, and there's still residual radiation there? Uh, well, there's not so much radiation there, but it's about growth. There's nothing that grows there. It's dead, dead land. You it's can't... funny that, actually, because I was reading about, like, the Nazca lines and stuff like that, and that's limestone, yeah. is it? It's lime yeah. that they put down so nothing would grow there. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, and um, apparently, these um, other lines that have been discovered in China, there's but they're really, ones. but apparently they're secret, and nobody really knows yeah. about them. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, similar things, it's like, they're very similar to the, well, apparently one's called the mosaic lines, um, and yeah. it's like a mosaic pattern, but it's done in the same way. But I often yeah, wonder... Yeah, is this the, the, the very technical one? Yeah, it's just like a mosaic um, grid pattern, but yes, it's, yes, it's yes. weird. It's like, you know, but, uh, but besides the point, it's mm. like 
when when stuff doesn't grow, it kind of yeah. indicates that there's something going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's a reason yeah. why. And you know, yeah. in that case with the Nazca lines, you can go, it's lime. Someone's put lime down here, so nothing grows. Why have they done that? Yeah. It's like <laughs> when when it's a UFO's been involved. Like when we all that talk of crop circles, and they'd all say, well. Yeah. It's funny because now nothing actually grows here. Or we, there was an incident where a UFO was supposed to land, and that Does that it, area's remained barren for, with, for for ever since. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, but with crop circles, there's an extra there's an extra kicker to um, uh, to do with radiation. Now, quite a lot of um, the time, uh, you can regrow in certain areas, but it's just the ones that seem to have been there for um, uh, a while or there's some kind uh, you know some may be strong some may be not as so strong depends now, what the craft was isn't it because I know like actually I was going to mention this yeah. to you off air but like seeing as though it actually is on topic yeah. um, Volkswagen are doing something at the moment because their cars diesel cars yeah. have been selling diesel cars for so long where like you know now it's it's unethical to have a diesel car because and especially these ones because they were polluting yeah. over the odds too much so it's there's legal cases the computer system legal cases going on right yeah now like you say spaceships you might have got an early model yeah got yeah, a bit well, of a clunker it. you know what this i mean it. and it's got a lot of radiation comes down to earth fucking hell you ruined my field different species as well there's different kind of species and uh, the uh, the best way of finding out if um uh, a field has been done uh, is a proper crop circle is when you have a look right on the um crop you'll have like a little nudge it's like a kneecap right and it is hard to bend it's the only thing uh, uh, you'll find is that when they bend it's because of so m- uh, so much heat has been uh, put on it that it, it actually cracks with inside, and that's how you can tell if a crop circle is a proper crop circle or not, because mm. you can only do it by. You see, I've radiation. got my reservations about crop circles, but we could talk about this another day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Crop circles are an interesting one, but like you yeah. know, once you see kind of how people can achieve it. Without yeah, a, a, without the aid of a UFO, <laughs> you know, it, it starts falling apart. Anyway, yeah. without much conversation, the, mm-hmm. the guys all decided to hit the hit the hay. Yeah, it had been a long night. They'd had a crazy experience. Hay. Yeah. Well, they're out in the middle of nowhere. They couldn't exactly well, just yeah, go I'd be home. Still wiping my ass from of course the you incident. Would. I mean, but the best thing at the moment they could do is try and get some sleep. Yeah, right. Yeah, get your strength up because, like you said, they were weak, weren't they? Yeah, well, they felt exhausted. The fire that they built had basically burnt out to nothing. And, yeah, you know, that makes me think back. that there was a bit of a time loss there. Do you know oh, what I mean? Definitely, definitely yeah. some sort of a time yeah. dilation or some sort of time missing time there. Yeah, yeah right? I would say so. So the guys so. have gone to sleep. Um, the next morning, they woke up and didn't really talk about it. Yeah, they all kind of were all a bit weirded out by it. So they packed up the belongings and moved to a new campsite. Yeah, Jack was the first to start having nightmares and dreams about what happened. Um, And he saw um, beings with long necks and large heads. Yeah. Yeah. He said the beings um, examined his arms um, while Jim, Chuck and Charlie sat on a nearby bench and were unable to, to move and were a bit kind of... Um, basically subdued. Locked into position. Uh, the beings had large metallic glowing eyes with no lids, yeah, and their hands yeah. were insect-like with four fingers. Ooh. So, um, the men all started experiencing similar dreams short after. So, mm. you know, it seems a bit kind of bizarre that all four of them started having dreams about what happened on that lake. Do you know? So, oh, yeah. Out of curiosity, uh, Jim went to um, a UFO conference to check out, if see if he could find out a bit more information. Do you know, yeah. basically try and give out his his account. Yeah, he um, wants to find out what's going on. He met a couple of experts there who kind of he encounter- gave them his encounter um, yeah. and they started investigating it. So, you know, checking out Jim's story and trying to yeah. find out what, what actually had happened. Yeah. So um, they suggested that Jim 
went in for some like hypnosis. I would have said yeah. the same thing, to be honest, because hypnosis is really seems to be quite an interesting one. Do you know, for regression, um, yeah. you know, stuff that you might have been, you know, when we've talked about kind of um, MK Ultra and stuff like that and about yeah. programming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I reckon yeah, this stuff that state. could be stashed away in your subconsciousness or your subconscious mind that yeah. even you might, it might be a traumatic experience or something that you just choose to to forget, you know what I mean? But it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's yeah, a way yeah, of drawing yeah, yeah. Well, it out. Protecting yourself from exactly, uh, yeah, from that like doesn't want you to, uh, uh, meltdown experience. Well, exactly, this is yeah. it, isn't it? It's, uh, which is fat, fair. Yeah, that's healthy, in the way I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's a very healthy. I mean, it's it's good in a, a way, but in other ways, yeah. you should be dealing with your problems. Do you know head on? Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? True. Like, but, it, but obviously, the body must understand that you can't um, you can't take that. You can't actually, take that much. Well, it'd be interesting because I'm trying to get a hypnotist on the show or some uh, somebody who deals with hypnosis um, yeah. in the future. So that you know, it, might be you're not an doing interesting. Me, I'm not backing like no dog. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be making you do anything. Yeah, well, through the dog, do you? No, you honest, <laughs> honest. Um, yeah. So, you know, Jim has gone un- undergone some hypnosis. Yeah. yeah. Um, after the sessions, it revealed that the four men had memories of the abduction and yeah. um, meeting human-like, human-esque sort of character, you know, creatures, yeah. um, and under, undergone examination, yeah. yeah. yeah it would yeah. even taken skin and fluid samples from them all, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is, this is kind of... of um, unconscious mind sort of stuff so it's kind of hard to disprove really isn't it do you know when hypnosis comes into play and like uh, yeah because yeah but there is there is a certain i i know but it's weird right because and i always think this because right my experience of hypnosis right Mm. is um in an entertainment capacity Right. Yeah. So I went to a show and this hypnosis, I don't can't remember his name. Yeah, this mm. hypnotist, he goes, Right, this is, I wanna do something with you all. It's um it's quite subjective, but like, you know, if you're in if you wanna come up and get involved, do. Now mm. he gets a load of people on stage and he point blank says, Yeah, and it's all how you interpret it, yeah. So he says to you, Now, this'll only work if you do what I say and embrace what I'm saying. Yeah, right? Yeah. Now... Open your mind. No, well, he's going, do this, do that, and you're yeah. supposed to be doing the actions along with him, yeah? And he comes to a point where if you turn around and say, this is a load of bollocks, this, yeah, yeah. then he doesn't want you anymore. He wants you to sit back down, right? Not because you're not subjective enough, yeah? Yeah. He wants the person who will, who will sit yeah. there... And do all the actions, ride the horse, bark like the dog, yeah, because yeah, he's told you to, yeah, right? And yeah. you, rather craving for the attention or whatever, I don't, I don't know, understand why you'd, why you'd get to that point where you'd bark like a dog, yeah. So you don't thing. think that there's any... Uh, that no, there's, I, think, um, I think it's, it's all there's kind of... There's a switch of, there no. to control. I, I, well, no, I do, in a professional capacity, I do believe that you can you can um, give somebody a new way of thinking in in terms of kind of um, stopping smoking or, you know, in a positive respect like that. Yeah, but you could do that by experience of No, some... no, it's all a big... It's, 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 it's changing your mental attitude. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. like making you think in a new way. Yeah, and that's it. And these, this is what these people are really yeah. good at doing. They're able to make you think about stuff in a new way and change your opinion and change your attitude on it. It's a very dangerous thing, but a very helpful thing yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, you know. Yeah, but then you, you, uh, I always think about as well um, the experience of, right, when these people have been abducted and they're laying on slab oh, on the table. Oh, in terms of getting table. information out of yeah. people, do you know, like um, now that is, well, that you, you, you're not putting those blocks in front. So say if he's had a traumatic, traumatic experience and... Yeah. He couldn't find the words to express what had happened to him. 
then... Yeah, because you're going more than words, you're going into feelings, you're going exactly, into Exactly, yeah, it's just like, whoa, the, it, the I, I couldn't even you. fathom what happened. Yeah, right. And then yeah. you know what happens in exp- when you when th- things happen to you in life? Yeah. They're like a whirlwind, and before you know it, it's happened and done, and you're like, whoa, what's just happened there? And yeah. then you're trying to get your head around it, and your account of what actually happened isn't exactly how it happened, and then yeah, other people influence just, you yeah. and say, yeah, yeah. no, but he did this as yeah. well, don't you remember? And you go... Oh yeah, and oh, then yeah. that suddenly so gets him, put him well. added to yeah. your story, and then before yeah. you know it, Chinese. Yeah. Whispers. Now there was four of them there. Now they're saying that they didn't really speak much about it, but I bet they did. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet oh, their yeah. account of it was very similar. Yeah. So yeah, but then there's going to be mixes and matches in between. Like, yeah, he was more like that than. No, I mean, that. like we we were joking about probing. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not being funny here. If I, me and you went out on a camping trip and we both got abducted and probed, I'm pretty sure we'd be silent the whole way home. Yeah, yeah we'd be I like, so. and think, if we yeah. remembered it, we'd be like, you're all right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right. You're all right. Yeah, right, yeah let's go home. Think, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Then, like what happened to them, I think certain things are going to happen where you're going to uh, turn around and you're going to have to deal with it. You get it, like nightmares and that. You're going to have to turn around and think about it and go, Right, this keeps happening. I want it to stop happening. What happened? And then that's where you go into like the well, hypnosis and stuff like that. Well, like I say, the description of the aliens were consistent through all four men's um, accounts Which makes and me, interviews. Makes me even more luckier than if it's if it's true on the accounts of the descriptions of well, them because a couple of them were artists as well, and they were able to make detailed sketches of yeah. the aliens, the crafts. Yeah. And the experimenting instruments that they used on him. Yeah, that's good, that. So uh, Chuck added that the aliens' uh, tested air- testing area was similar to a vet's office with, um, like, silvery tables. Yeah, and it all seems to be one. It's, everything is one. It's uh, Nothing's out, uh, 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 out of anywhere else. Everything is joined together. How do you mean? Perfectly. It's like if um, um, you know, like if I've got I've got a room, a silver room. Yeah, there is no corners. It's you know, it's and I want a table in front of me. Well, I could design that table by moving that metal. You That's know, why into, the metal. Remember, um, it, what so was that? One. Oh, that film was great. Um, the Flight of the Navigator. Yeah, like yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, the table comes number. out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that these places uh, within the ships uh, are designed as uh, like a, a one piece piece that, but you can it can easily be moved around, mm. kind of thing. This is uh, uh, from bits of information from a, a number of stories uh, like this, and I think the reason why they were spotted as well was because of the lake. Uh, because they do... Do you think it's one of those, though? Because, I mean, most of these abduction incidents, and I'm not trying to be a naysayer or say what the, mm. the, the, their, what what happened didn't happen to him, but, like, yeah. you know, they always happen to a small group of people in a remote situation, you know. And, I mean, yeah. I appreciate that these aliens don't want to be just going into a city centre and abducting a group of people right out, out of town. Yeah, yeah exactly, right. Exactly, At yeah. full view of everyone, and they oh, want to yeah, be a anyone. bit covert in the missions. But like, it makes me think: Are they having a laugh? Are they all just kind of been on a fishing trip and they've gone? Do you know what? Yeah, we could say we got abducted by it. Why don't we? You know, and you know, it could be a money spinner. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, there is, there is a, especially in America, there is a a, a number of lakes where a lot of incidents of happened and it's a case of I think they just got picked up because uh, it looks like these uh, craft need some kind of water at some at some stage so they do have to collect the water from somewhere and where, where do you go? You go to a lake or you go to the sea if a lake's near well it doesn't really matter and that's another thing that confuses me with this as well because if you, you don't want to be seen you never want to be seen but you're in the sky being seen here and there and if you want water, you could go to the ocean quite easily well, and not be seen, but you want to go to a puddle and have a look in that. Well, the thing is, you know it, there's mean? a lot of speculation to say that these UFOs are, um, you know, residing in the water of the oceans and stuff. So yeah, USOs, is yeah. it is it not so out of the realms of possibility that some of them are based in these big lakes and, um, you know, lagoons? 
Yeah, there, there, in fact, there, I think it is in Maine. I think there's one in Maine where um, they believe that there possibly uh, is. Um, but there's other uh, there's other occasions. I mean, USOs are they're they're uh, they're like a they're like a sort of dream for uh, some uh, countries, I suppose, because like they don't splash. This is a thing they don't splash. Well, no, he's just saying that they, these in. implode and then kind of like and like I said earlier, if they, yeah. when when that when you say that to me, yeah, that makes me think that it's 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 condensing. It's yeah, all of no its force. It's yeah. condensing all of its mass yeah. to a single point. Yeah, right, and then traveling on the energy it, it created doing that. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Which means and you've got no a smaller mass, mass at the time. a smaller mass to travel, and all that energy of the mass you've just. But well, even yeah. that, you would have expect a plop. You that's know, a technical. A that's a technical in. term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, science. Yeah. But with with uh, the uh, yeah, no, it's imploding, oven, singularity, no boom, splash, taking off, and then amazing. you say it's no splash. It's it's in the water or in the off into the sky, tree line or whatever. But that just makes it. it that just. That, wow. that it just doesn't comprehend, you know. You know what I mean. I'm really interested in in how these UFOs are working at the moment, right? Uh, I've got we've yeah. got a really good episode coming up in the next yeah. couple of weeks. So I'm still Ooh, yeah. researching, but it's right. it's going to be a good one and big um, famous one. Most it, it has about. been put as most uh, uh, seen. Uh, thousands of people saw this at once. This, this one, ten thousand people. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Al- Alagas abduction. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, well, yeah. You see, this is the thing. You see, because yeah. we're so far. We've got we've yeah, got we're... episodes coming up with a bum. Anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, we, we're already researching. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, they, these guys. Um, one of them said that he couldn't even focus on. Do you know when he was on his in his being op, um, opera, not say operated yeah. on when he was being examined. Yeah. He said he was trying to focus and try and get a, a good a picture of him. See, you know, but yeah. He said that he was like really fuzzy, couldn't really put an exact well, image I bet he on him. Maybe said, probably not, but, because you know, there's a, it, it does seem to be a thing of uh, when the body's uh, up there and you can't move, you can't move an inch. The only thing that seems to be able to move is your head and your eyes. So which all of the can't be drugged. So right. So there's been. So let's let's look at the evidence in terms of what these guys have came and forward and said happened, right? So they're mm-hmm. saying they've been abducted. Mm-hmm. I think there was some probably some possible missing time there. I don't know what what like time frame it was. Yeah, yeah, but based on the evidence there for the fire going out, how they sur- arran- um, suddenly appeared on the shore or woke up on the shore. Yeah, yeah I'd say four or six. Hours, I'd say. I'd say a couple of hours. Out. Yeah, right. Fully. You've got the idea that they've all been kind of brought onto this um, ship yeah. and, you know, had to sit in a fucking queue like the barbers. Yeah. Uh, to, wait, you to wait to get your, your, your tests done. Your urine test. Now, yeah. all of the men um, had the same account of what yeah. happened, right? And none of them changed the story. And then yeah. all of them did take a lie detector as well. What do you think the uh, results of that was? I reckon either all or majority of them passed. They all passed the lie detector test. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it, you could you could even argue that they were you know could be mental health issues, but they were all <laughs> deemed to be mentally stable. As long as he weren't on anything like mushrooms or that, hey, or even was... yeah. Do you know what? That was exactly what happened. They were all camping. Yeah, Someone all pulled out the mushies. There is another one. And they're all another serious aliens. side of spores of um, <laughs> the cause... serious side of spores by yeah. Taylor. Yeah, no, because this Christmas's a... coffee table book. There's a thing going off at the minute, and they're testing it out <laughs> where they reckon that um, you know uh, uh, spores get into the body and could make you um, uh, exaggerate things like ghosts and stuff like this. Is that what and you've it, been doing? Have you been eating fucking mushrooms? Here in oh, I hate the fucking stuff. So nah. go on, what they can so make? I you, feel like I'm eating myself. I don't get that. I mean, they could make you exaggerate things. No, yeah, because the chemical element within it—if it—if the toxicity gets into your bloodstream, then you're gonna like. If you had a magic mushroom, you're gonna be off your taste. What? And then you suddenly go in. I once caught a fish this big, (laughs) and it was like, no, you didn't. 
Yeah, but it all depends on the potency of the um, uh, of the actual, you know, spore. Okay, all right. You know I, I mean, so that. any any chemical element that's added to another could change that element. It doesn't now, matter what it is. Now, just going back to this story, I've mm. heard a couple of stories like this where yeah. you know, I mean, we've covered similar. You know, where quite, people have said they were out fishing. Yeah. There was um, a definite story of a guy and his son or in, in, in a boat um, and yeah. getting um, um, not abduct, potentially abducted, but seeing a UFO. And yeah. I'm sure, pretty sure it was a Men in Black incident where Men in Black um, came in and were involved. But, you know, yeah. it does seem to be a kind of a trope where you, you're out fishing at night or on a camping trip and... And and there's this sort of I mean we can go into how many I mean again it's rather wilderness Why driving you say you've down seen Bigfoot what sorry Why not instead just say you seen Bigfoot instead of well, yeah, if I you went, saw I'm Bigfoot go, then you thrown. fucking then you, you, you know it'd be a hell of a weekend if you were abducted by aliens and saw Bigfoot because then no no one's going to believe you Yeah and had a ride on Nessie's back. <laughs> yeah, and then caught a fish this big. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of them, I mean... I, well, I, I caught the fish, but Nessie ate it, and then I fucking had to headlock it. Go in headlock, yeah. fucking hell. It was what I just weekend. like how... Uh, I mean, it's the same with a lot of abductions. There's a lot of similarities, and there's a lot of stuff. And there's, there's, there's stuff, if you go to the professional ones, there is stuff there that... Uh, they wouldn't even even I don't know certain things that they would know. That all you have to do was say a certain word, and it'd be like, <laughs> I say, know you are. say a certain word. No, you are. Well, it's an enigma. Happened. It is an enigma. What is it? Well, I don't know because they don't they don't <laughs> seem to tell anyone because it's one of them. Because if if I told you the word, you'd go out and go like, oh, I uh, tell everyone. Not his fa- yeah, and they'd be going, Expel oh yeah, the let's wind them up. You know, I'll do that because in the past it's been it's been one of them areas that you know we people took the piss out of, and it's it's what it's aliens. Not as much more of a piss taking. Well, I'm not people saying people originally thought. I'm you know not what I mean? It's aliens. No, but, but it's, it's something. It's something. Well, yeah. there you go. Oh, what? The Allagash yeah. incident, or the Allagash yeah. abduction. It's an interesting it's one. It. Yeah. And now I think, like you know, um, we'll try and post some of the uh, sketches as well, yeah. and yeah. other uh, bits of evidence throughout the week over on Instagram and Twitter. Um, there's some interesting stuff. I mean, like say the doodles and the drawings that these guys have uh, put out as well, which were quite cool in terms yeah. of uh, what they say the aliens look like. And um, the whole story is really interesting. I mean, it reminds me of like the Betty and Barney Hill incident. Do you know what I mean? That's also known as a flagship. Alien abduction case, isn't it? True, but uh, what made me a bit more um, uh, uh, think that they were lucky boys was because when they were saying, "Was he like lizard people?" <laughs> well, no, they weren't. They said they were uh, greys, the... by the sounds of it. Well, kind yeah. of grey, similar greys, because he was saying they were elongated, but like big heads and like um, metallic eyes. Now that kind of makes me think of greys. Because there are certain, uh, supposedly, there are certain species that you hope you do not get uh, 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 taken, basically. And one of them's like the lizard lot, uh, which uh, mutilate Yeah, we talked import. about them, the ones who'll take you off yeah. to the planet, who they, they, they broke the agreement with Nixon. Yeah. Damn him. Yeah, oh, well, oh, uh, the whoever. Grace, I don't know. Grace broke uh, that agreement. And it was the Nordics. And what does that, that weird... tell you? Well, yeah, well, but they're Never supposed to be... Never trust the spaceman kids. Yeah, but they're supposed to be like a, a, a DNA kind of, um, like, little helpers kind of things. <laughs> yeah, well, like, no, I, yeah, they were kind yeah, of like drones, the, weren't they? Like little... Yeah, um, speculations, sort of... because we don't know the whole truth, you know what I mean? And it's a case oh, of, like... I still think we're we just only a have fucking mega, mega interplanetary zoo. Yeah, I mean... Come and yeah, pet the humans. There, you know what I mean? Come it's... and feed the humans. And yeah. why, why would that then uh, Do you know what? Do, do you know that? what it probably, it probably was? Right, look at this, right? And then we could go into this. This is a deep one, right? But I mean, this is, I'll try and be quick, right? Think about it this way. You've got a planet, yeah? Now, yeah. The, the story of Noah's Ark, right? Get all the animals on an ark, yeah, yeah. save all the animals, right? Yeah. Now, how? maybe that's lost in the translation. No one's ever found an ark, yeah, right? 
No. But maybe well, they this have tried building it and it but, does suck, but fucking think about this as planet Earth is yeah. the Ark, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of uh, an abundance of life on this planet is unfucking real compared to the fact that we can't find any anywhere else at the moment, get right? 99% now we can so speculate that there's life on other planets because there's got to be, yeah. But yeah. for the sheer range, yeah of life just knocking about on earth is yeah. is is just staggering right yeah so think about it this way right none of this life because all these fucking animals are weird as shit right yeah <laughs> right you've got long necked ones skinny ones fucking blobby ones fucking yeah, but flying ones and swimming ones you've got all types of animals right yeah now you look at some of them and go that's alien that that looks weird that shouldn't that's nah that's not from earth yeah, well, right? most of them use that kind exactly, of thing, Exactly, right. But, they, but then you've got other animals that we're just used to seeing, which we yeah. ex- have accepted as an as Earth animal, right? Yeah. Now, how do you know that all these animals were originally from this planet? How do you know that human beings weren't here as an exhibit just as the rest of them? Yeah, yeah. right? But one day, they came back to check on us, and they went, nah, mate, they've gone sentient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've got, oh, oh, the humans have took over the zoo. Uh, Yeah, right? Oh, well, let's just see what... And, you know, when it's just been a big experiment, do you know what I mean? It's like, we we, they didn't expect, or maybe they wanted one of us to, you know, just to see which one of these species would dominate. Well, yeah, but this is the... Oh, I'm out of breath now. um, This is where there's so many different possibilities going round. I mean, they're even talking now... The scientists, mainstream scientists, are saying that uh, the dinosaurs might not have been wiped out the way we thought it'd been wiped out. But How we've had did they that get before. Wiped out? But uh, I don't know because I didn't actually check into it. Gangs. But I will bring the report. I next reckon week. it was gangs. Uh, gangs, gangs yeah, gone round. Gang related. Juck you, juck you, mate. Yeah, gang related. Slice yeah. Yeah, it's take a long, long time to slice. Gangs and drugs. That's my. Really, that's, reason that's for the the dinosaurs, they were they were way way too many gang related murders done. Let's move well, on. We are all looking for what is uh, you know for the future and what where are we going to go after all this? You know what I mean? And we're always going to ask that question. We're never going to really get that answer until we get there. Yeah, the thing but we is, just don't want to get the there. The thing quick. is as well, we've just got to hope that if we do meet alien life forms, they are nice. You know what yeah. I mean? And they don't want to just probe us. Yeah, well, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, but it, it, they, they should be more frightened of us because of our history. <laughs> what we done, oh, when we've got to win the country. Oh, now the probing's on the other foot now, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah, you best be scared. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah we've now got some probing to do. <laughs> people from Earth now, we're coming out to kick your ass, you know what I mean? I mean we'll, leave, we'll, we'll probe your ass first. We've got, well, we just want to know how your own anatomy works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you want to know how we work, we want to know exactly. how you work. Exactly, yeah, so. this is the deal. Yeah. Deal, isn't it? I mean, it's like, come on, guys. I mean, we know yeah. you've been here probing for so long. <laughs> yeah, right. but I don't think they want to I think it's hard to... way above that. Well, no, but that's where they might have thought we hid it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, no, yeah. yeah. Moving on. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to we, we're going down a dark road that we, we, we might not be any way hour. back from. We don't want to go down. So, no. yeah, exactly. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> found a hamster. Anyway, right, oh. so we've got some news, and without further ado, yeah. here we go. It's the news! And as usual, we've scoured the length and breadth of the internet trying to find you the best news and what's yeah. been going on in the world this week. Uh, Taylor, I believe yes. that you've you've found some interesting stuff out, haven't you? Using your have, powers yes. of research and journalistic prowess. I, I have, I have, and it's about time. Hit uh, me, son. B- BBC got a knock on their door from the bailiffs. Good lads. Yeah, it was funny. Good lads. Yeah, it was funny because they were filming this, uh, the new series of Can't Pay, Take It Away at the time, and uh, the bailiffs had to take the cameras they were filming with. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's irony, isn't it, really? <laughs> it is. I, I, so go I on, well, the BBC, they would have been funny, but I mean, what's happening? Oh, yeah. So the bailiffs yeah. have come knocking on the BBC's door. What yeah, was the, what was it for? 
Basically, there's a, a, a Mr. Welsh, um, 63, he, he went round to his co- his uncle's, yeah. which was 82 years old, and checked his accounts. And he'd found that he'd actually been paying the BBC licence for the last seven years, right. which he didn't have to. Because he was a pensioner? Yeah, because he was pensioned, because at the age of... Well, it's not there now, but at the age oh, of Oh, so it was a citizen. So this was a citizen yeah. who's taken the BBC to the bailiffs. Yeah. Good on him. Yeah. yeah. So if they refuse right. to but, give him his money back, is that what they're basically saying? Well, no, he wrote him a letter and said... Well, that's what I'm saying, yes. Yeah. Can you just, give me my money just back? Just over £1,000, I think it was. It's not, so a, it's like, not a sh- small chunk of change either, that well, really, that's is it? it? Seven years, isn't it? And a direct debit straight away, and he probably needed it for all the heating and all the problems that have been going on in the last uh, uh, well, number of years. Well, just the fact that he's, he's owed it. I mean, he's been paying yeah. it when he didn't need to pay it at the end of the day. Yeah. The BBC That's should it. have should have been, like, sending him a letter saying, uh, yeah, well, you shouldn't actually need to pay for your TV licence, sir. You're over the age. You, you, you know what you I mean? would have thought. But no one's bothered to check because no. they saw the money coming in and thought, well, shh, yeah. n- don't well, tell anyone. Got, they turned around and said, uh, no, sorry, mate. Uh, it is down to you to tell us um, uh, you're you're allowed to use that. That you're over seventy five. You didn't tell us you were seventy five, so uh, it's your fault, basically. Which brings me on to something that a lot of companies do now. Which uh, you're culpable, not them. Even though they should be the ones who are culpable. So this is a good stand up because uh, they turned around and ended up um, going to court. And get uh, and serving him uh, with a, a, a warrant. Uh, oh, good on him! Yeah. So, but, so what's he? So, do you reckon he'll be coming back with? He'll get uh, should get a bit more than his grand back. No, he, he's on. He can only claim. Um, uh, what was it? He can only claim the uh, extra charges, which turned out to be three hundred and fifty quid. Ah, oh, but what about so, the? Do they have to pay pick up his court costs as well, though? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Bailiffs will turn around and go, "Well, you owe this, but you also owe me now for calling you up and uh, saying this, that, and giving you letters and that." Oh well, at least they, that's yeah. a. I mean, he got some back, which yeah, is he which finally, is the main. I mean, it wasn't everything, but I mean, no. the fact is, it's that's a good one for the little man getting yeah. his fucking yeah. yeah, nice one for that. I, I like to see more uh, more more of that happen. Show the companies that we're the ones in control, not you. Yeah. You know what I mean. Oh, that's getting right. more cheeky, big. It's funny big that boots. actually, because you were saying there about how, like, you know, they just didn't bother to ring him or check. But like, you oh. know, but it could be that you know his records weren't. Their excuse is we don't ask for your date of birth. Right. So, so well, if they we should, don't ask for your because, date of birth, well, they should yeah, exactly. because these people who were who were exempt yeah, based on based that. on the date of birth. So you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. The best yeah, to check you know eh? it. But and they get three and a half billion pounds off the government every year. It makes year. me laugh, though, because you were saying there about, like, you know, the, the, the data. It could be, like, you know, his data was wrong. And like you say, there you go. He doesn't, okay. They don't ask for date of birth. Um, yeah. I've got this news story about um, a man um, whose data was wrong, right? He, um, he got offered the vaccine for COVID, right, mm. because his data at the hospital basically listed him as a 6.2 centimetre tall man. Six point two centimeters. What? What the? And uh, high risk. <laughs> high risk is a little person. Oh, uh, what? So he's um, a man in his thirties with no underlying health conditions whatsoever. He was offered the COVID COVID vaccine after the NHS error. Uh, Mistaken list him as a, a man of six point two centimeters in height. That is that. Oh, that is mad. So you know, I think like um, you know, in terms of like making sure. Your, your information's <laughs> correct. Do you know what I mean? It's exactly. one thing, but you know, then I mean, to be honest, it's I'm like issues if minute. I was that guy, I would have been on to him my birthday, going, "Ah, hey, BBC, I don't need to pay you no more." <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? So, damn right. Yeah, yeah, but it's over now. Uh, over five million um, old people uh, and are not eligible for it anymore. But how do you mean they're not s- eligible for it? Uh, since um, August last year. Um, it wasn't free. It's not free now. So uh, the old people are paying, but only 750,000 uh, old people have turned around and gone, nah, stick that up your ass." But I'm hoping a lot more are going to do it. But they're getting more threatening as well. I I, have, I had a letter the other day saying, we're opening a case on you. It's like, open a fucking case on me. I yeah. want to fucking smack ass on you. 
Come on, go for it. No. I'll go and see. I'll, 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 I'm seriously uh, thinking of um, uh, putting um, uh, some charges against them for uh, uh, abusing the power. And, like, uh, keep interrupting me when, you know, why you, why do you keep coming back and badgering me with the same old question? I've told you, fuck off. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah. fuck off. Unless we you've got a, a, a contract there, fuck off. And that's Taylor you know I mean? telling you. Yeah, that's yeah. me telling you. Fuck well, off. I tell you fuck what, on me. I found this story, mate, and, yeah. and I'm so pleased. Well, I'm, all right, okay, I'm, good I'm, one. I'm super excited. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, because you know, I mean, the vaccine's rolling out. Everyone's getting mm. it. You know, the people who need it are getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The people who desperately need it. Yeah. Mm. Right. And it's good to see when you see it in the news that the one guy who I thought had not get it, but he's got it, has got the vaccine. Oh. We're talking about, of course, R. Kelly. Oh, not R. Kelly again. R. R. Kelly's got different. the COVID vaccine. What the fuck? What was he needed for? What has well, he got? Has he got some underlying? Well, oh, has just, he got some underlining problems? We well, do not know. Just, you can know. I just give you give you the skinny on this one. Where's yeah. where's where is he at the moment? Mm, I know they probably. Where's R. Kelly at the moment? It's over there, R. Kelly. Well, he's being held in uh, my um, in Illinois prison whilst I was he just awaits say that, <laughs> while yeah. he awaits trial. Um, in both yes. Chicago and New York on charges including sexual abusing and underage teenage girls, um, yep. inappropriate child pornography, and yep. destroying evidence. Um, yes. On Saturday, yep. the 27th, um, it was reported that um, he'd had the, he was one of 63 inmates to have the um, COVID vaccine. See? He's had his first jab. So according to TMZ, Kelly was, a, um, was the first vaccine... In uh, January, to um, so, what first person to get it, and um, he's so, receiving his second dose soon. So, what's his underlying problem then? I don't know. It's just prisons, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I suppose it's um, yeah, people not, but... in close quarters. They must think that that they, they need vaccinating. Otherwise, I it's going to cause more, more problems prisoners. down the line, isn't it? Or well, why didn't they do all of them? The well, same they might time? have done more, but he was one of the first sixty-three. Right, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, true, yeah. And especially it's one of them, isn't it, with these vaccines? Because it's like um, if, if it, <coughs> like you take it out of the box and it's and it's the t- temperatures and all the rest of it, isn't it? So yeah, you've so got to, they might have yeah. a load in a, at a local <laughs> health centre and at the end of the day have 30, 63 left and go, well, prisons, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. get them used, like, yeah. do you know, and, and it just happens that he volunteered. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just fucking funny, isn't it? Do you know, like how people, when you think of, there's a lot of people out there who could really do with it, yeah. and then you got R. Kelly just and he's just get just taking know, it. Going, oh, oh, hey, right. perk of, yeah. perk of the yeah, yeah, perk of the job, a perk right. of the yeah. job. Anyway, yeah, you got a lot of perks through that job. Hey, so Here's what's um, what's next on uh, your news this week? Oh, right, like I was saying before um, on the story about um, right, there's. Uh, it's, uh, a guy's basically uh, done an information act uh, with the Pentagon, and he's got some uh, information uh, saying um, that uh, they have um, a- a- alien metal, basically unknown metal, that they have been uh, developing since 1959 metal. with um, normal. Um, Making an alloy. Our our metal, basically. Yeah, so we're trying to make an alloy out of it. Yeah, basically, it is. It's nickel and titanium. Now, the formula, it works out to be Ni, which is nickel, 14, and it's titanium, 11. And you combine them together, and you can bend, stretch it, you can do all the kind of things, but it also can turn the vehicle invisible. Ooh. Yeah. Now, invisible. Go on. They've thrown all the evidence out. It's out there on uh, YouTube. It's out there on the internet. Um, and um, the thing is, even new glasses that are being made now, you know, the frames, mm. they're being made out of this because you can bend it and it, it, it you know, just bend all the, yeah, all I've the seen frames. Those. And yeah, it'll yeah bounce and it back. bounces back, so I think. Yeah, yeah I've kind of seen them. Back. I don't wear like glasses, so you know, I don't wear yeah. my glasses, so I don't I don't um I don't need them. You don't but, need them. Yeah. yeah. So 
But, well, yeah, um, I've seen them, seen them about, you know, but I yeah. just think, like, when are you going to be in a position where you're like, you're the only time you're ever going to need to bend your glasses is when you're showing your mate that you can bend your glasses, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, oh, I've broken. But it's also showing that um, what we've been believing from the start, which is all these technologies that, you know, have been coming through, you know, like... Uh, uh, all the stuff that all the stuff that they were lying yeah. about, basically. They yeah. said that, well, yeah, no, no, that doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's helped us, like, coming up to the future uh, well, has basically come from true. that kind of stuff. It's true. And this is the evidence he's got now. But now they're starting to backtrack and go, no, no, no. No, yeah. no, it, we meant this, we meant doing this. But hold on, you've just given us the file to say. As you know, I'm it's... I'm on a little quest myself at the moment for a bit of information mm. about some technology that... Uh, yes, yes, uh, Which yes, we will be talking so, about yeah. very soon. But yeah. it's one of them, isn't it? It's like you think you find these things and think, is that real? Is that a bit yeah. of sci-fi or what? But then, like, you know, yeah, the flux capacitor is real. We'll find it together. We will travel through time. Oof. Don't you worry. Funny enough, actually, I've seen a report, uh, a little report, I, I won't go fast on it, uh, a cold fusion, uh, uh, fusion, basically, there's um, an American company uh, looking at cold fusion and they believe that they will have it by 2035. I, I probably, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, it's like we, we keep making these strides in energy, yeah, yeah. and the, the best bit is, it was like years ago, there was this hold over from the oil companies, yeah, right. Yeah. So any sort of new, um, new ways gas. of pro- pro- providing energy were squashed yeah. or p- patents were bought up or yeah. whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now you think you would think that all these patents that they bought up, you know, yeah. back in the day, yeah, yeah, because they were trying to suppress them, they'd start yeah. researching and looking into now because yeah, they bring had, it forward, you know, try yeah. and bring that stuff forward. Um, but you know. It's we're at a point now where it's we're actively being encouraged to come up with new energy sources and energy ways of of, of providing power to vehicles and yeah, but and, then and homes and businesses and stuff. So you know, there's no no point unless we can stop them big oil companies and that getting the money to expand and continue. Well, this is doing what I'm what saying. There's more yeah. money being put into these these areas, whereas back in the day it was yeah. squashed. Whereas now people yeah. are being encouraged and the money's there. Yeah. So. So I can only assume Private that, enterprise. So mate. whereas we didn't make strides in cold fusion or whatever, you know, we might yeah. do in the future. So in the We're very actually, near future. Britain is one of the I uh, think top. Tesla I think Tesla's kind of I mean, Elon Musk's proving a lot of this stuff and they putting yeah. it into practice. Yeah, right. You should be thankful for him for a I lot think of things like, to be honest. I think in terms of what they're going to be doing in Australia in the next couple of years is yeah, going to be yeah. a big test because the, you know this um free energy um generating it yeah. from from tesla coils and all this yeah. is i think something that's being put into practice over they there they've got one in Tes- um, uh, uh, texas they've got one in texas as well yeah, yeah. well like i think they, they're actually putting it into practice in australia because they've got an energy yeah. crisis over there at yeah, the minute yeah. Um, and elon's taking that over there so i think it's, it's if that works and bounds, mate. if it works really well then it could be something we see quite a lot of. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, I just hope we don't push it because we have a, a tendency to to push <laughs> beyond our own boundaries. You know, hey, what I tell mean? you and, what about you know you are right about yeah. overreaching. Yeah, yeah, right? we always overreach. But I found this story which um, it's going old school. This is old school. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. And it's not overreaching it, and it is not pushy. You say pushing your limits and pushing your bounds and all that. Yeah, you can push your bounds, but over bounds. Oh, these then, guys you know. pushed the bounds, mate. This was um, a couple of Russian uh, diplomats and the families, oh, yeah. yeah, right, including a couple of children who um, had to escape North Korea. I say escape, they had to leave North Korea. I'm wondering why they wouldn't let them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah they had to Pooey escape quite this way. Good friends with him as well. Well, they had to. Um, all the roads were closed off, borders and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. they've been, been closed for over a year because of the pandemic, right? Yeah. So to get back to Russia, these guys have... Um, do you know those old pump railway carts that you see in Yeah, yeah, in yeah, Western yeah. Movies? black and white films. Fucking yeah, knock yeah. you out, like, you know, where you got a pump cart it. Like, bump, bump, oh, bump, yeah. Bump, 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 bump. That's some fucking exercise, do it. Hey, they, they got from Russia to... From North Korea to Russia on a pump cart with the whole family. 
Whoa, yeah, but how far into uh, how far to Russia? I mean, you could just well, go like from, ten miles down the border to the border, Moscow, or was it like hundred miles? Moscow, Moscow to North Korea, yeah. Whoa, yeah, that's that's most of the country, that. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 all the flights have been grounded, and the borders are closed from China and Russia. And they went all the way, way from through. there to yeah, Moscow. Yeah, yeah. On so you that, can't, you can't fault them, can you? Made a sturdy oh, stuff, these I've got to give him a round of applause for that. Fact, that's yeah, we'll some bravery there. That's some bravery. Fucking heroes of the week yeah. there. Yeah, someone's got some got owners. Imagine all that. That must have took weeks, if not you know, months, man. I'd say so. Yeah. Oh, good for them. The good for them. Car, well, the rail car had been specifically made for the long journeys, so, you know, and haul stuff, and he was able yeah. to go over bridges and stuff like that. So, you know, it was a... A, a decent bit of kit they were using. Um, oh, you know, right. They were just well, no, no, I mean, back it, it. <laughs> it was like, no, it's seriously, it wasn't, I mean, it's it's how you it imagine luxury, it. It was luxury, but it was... It was it was big enough to get, get the whole family and the suitcases and yeah, all the rest yeah. of it on board. But you had to work But it, it was still, I mean, don't forget, you're pumping it, but it's a yeah. lot of iron you've got to move as well. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And all I it is, one of the... it's hydraulic, so your hand pumping yeah. a hydraulic, which is yeah. pushing you down the track, but it's a lot of work to put in for a long what distance. About, what about hills going And you had a three-year-old daughter down. with them as well. Do you know what I mean? He had a three-year-old daughter. Ah, see. So you know, it's um, pretty far. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what their parents do, though, for the kids. You know what I mean? They... He said it was very rough and difficult, bit cold. Yeah. And he said it looked pretty. You know, like a lot of yeah. it, the landscape and stuff like that. But yeah, they seen um, most of it. <laughs> what's it? But the country um, also has um, deployed uh, troops along the border of China um, with a shoot to kill order. So obviously it was pretty difficult trying to get over the over the border. So and a big round of applause to him, I think, in that case. Yeah, yeah for well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's me, man. That's that's good. That's good news. Well, have you got anything uh, else you want to discuss this week? I've got a couple more stories. I've got one here that's a bit outrageous, actually. Do you want me to go oh. for it, or do you? What have you got something to say? Uh, I'll say this and then you go for the outrageous oh, it's slightly outrageous slightly oh, oh now now you're egging me on and now you're going like well oh, it's not got nothing to do with eggs oh right alright then you hope you like <laughs> potatoes um, uh, the uh, governments now are taking it seriously about the uh, secret safes of <laughs> um, quantum computer hey, revenge hey say that again what was that Secret safe. No, the other bit. I can't remember. Quantum. Quantum. Oh, yeah, quantum. Yeah, quantum leap. There's fucking quantum <laughs> enigma. Quantum computer. He's a My quantum, quantum computer. He's a quantum enigma. Yeah, well, basically, the, the, the com- uh, governments are finally realising that, like, um, what I was saying a couple of months back, where... Uh, at the minute, we're at uh, uh, 73 uh, bits, basically, 73 parts of a quantum computer. That's the highest we've got. Now, if um, uh, criminal aspects get hold of that and beyond, they could easily they could do some ca- fucking... a password from anywhere within five oh, seconds. Oh, do you know what? When, when where it's straight from. away, when you said, well, if criminals get hold of it, I yeah. saw them using it to fix horse races and, and do like yeah, yeah, gangster yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Oh, when shit, when yeah, when, when you were start like going to get passwords and get into like financial records, I'm like, oh, that's way more. I don't know. <laughs> <if> you... <laughs> like you definitely you use it for that. I, you know, I'm thinking of like Peaky Blinders gangsters. I'm I'm I, I'm. To be honest, I don't think it's. Uh, I I think it's it's sort of a good idea for the quantum computer to be able to go into the passwords. And be able to uh, grab what it needs. A normal uh, now, computer Matt, can do it. You could brute force any password. Because you can't keep that secret then. Well, most but passwords. But then like, you need... You, a lot of truth will come out then. But then you that. do need some secrets. It's funny you should talk about that. I've got this story quickly um, that I found. And it's basically um, how a, a guy... Um, oh, what, where's the story? Here we go. He, right, so a computer, um, compu- com- uh, I can't even talk now because I've lost the stuff. A computer IT company, right, 
has mm -hmm. um, basically had a, bre a breach. Yeah, right. And I can't find the story, so I'm just going to have to wing it, right? Yeah, so they've, no um, they've had a breach, um, and the CEO has um, blamed his intern for losing the password or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, it turns out um, that the company, let me find out, well, I've got to find out what this company's called. <laughs> um, shut up. I'll find it. They'll find it. Right, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, right. But it turned out the the password in question was um, like I think it was something like Starwind One Two Three. <laughs> yeah, and oh, that was the name of the yes. company. Yeah. So it yeah. was like I'm not being funny, but I, you probably two guesses and get that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you know I wouldn't blame the intern, but it's funny how these kind of you say about breaking passwords. You don't need a quantum yeah. computer to do that. You can literally do that with rather a normal computer or just common sense. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like, the quantum computer will uh, be able to, like, I could sit here, use it, and grab every single, and then mess files around, mess things around around the world, do, do you whatever not just think I, that I this want is just done. a danger? Like, you know, we had this... It is dangerous. No, no, no. I what think. I'm talking about In is, do you not think that it's just... Uh, the computer's not dangerous, right? You say that is it dangerous? Put you know, put releasing these sort of like high powered computers that can crack a code in a, in a five seconds, or guess your password in two minutes, or grab all your personal data and all that. Right? It's like having a loaded gun. Right? Yeah. Your gun isn't dangerous sat on the coffee table, but put it in the hands of a maniac exactly. and it's dangerous, right? Exactly. It's the same with this, right? If yeah. A quantum computer, you might think, is a dangerous thing to be putting in the hands of anyone, but how do I know the people who've got it now are the right hands? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally, I don't totally. know. I don't know what the fuck totally. they're using them for. But they've right? got the money to build that technology. Exactly, That's right? The so, so they're building it. They get the say, right? Yeah. So it's it's a moot point anyway, right? But what I'm getting at is um, you can invent and you can create and you can build and you can say, right, this, I built this, it does this job, but put it in the hands of somebody who's a nutter, it yeah. can be a dangerous weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah. You could say that about a lot of things. So yeah. I don't see um, advancements in computing technology unless we're going full Skynet and building building sentient robots that you know, you know, have the capacity well, to of, uprise. Everything's being joined together as it is, from our financial to our, our, oh, our I think uh, medical I think records it's, to it's our too, kettle. It's too late now. It's done. It's too uh, late. I, I think well, I think we've, we're in it now. And the the fact is, it's I don't like agree. um, you know. What we've done now, and we, we send it out, all of our information is readily available by, you know, um, signal. And, yeah. you know, any uh, intelligent alien life out there wanted to know all the ins and outs of what human existence, all our yeah. weaknesses, all our yeah. uh, strengths, it's mm -hmm. all there. Yeah. Just watch YouTube for a few hours. Oh, yeah. Epic <laughs> fails. <Yeah. laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? You'd be, you'd be quids in. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, have you got anything else you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, I've got this story. Yeah, go for it. So, Hasbro, the board game people, yeah? Yeah. Um, well, let's not say board game, children's toys of all varieties, um, are rebranding the Mr. Potato Head toy line. What the fuck for? Well, how can you rebrand Mr. Potato Head? Exactly. It's a potato, he's a man and he's a head. Well, that's Done. the thing, you see, because he's a man, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, wow. And Hasbro... Now, this is Fox News, so I don't know how kind of like, um, you know, how truthful, um, truthful this is. Yeah. But they're saying that... Uh, say is. Now, this is, this actually makes makes me laugh because basically this is a headline that the Fox News have put out. Hasbro uh, rebranding Mr. Potato Head's toy line as gender neutral. <laughs> potato Head. Fuck. Right. So they're just bringing it out as potato head, right? So you can put the boobs on. Instead of Mr. Potato so you can put the boobs on, take the boobs off. You can but they make got it misses. a man, make it a woman. This is the thing. But they're not taking away the the, the, the monikers. So basically the brand um, overall um, is changing, but the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head will remain their original monikers. 
So sounds, sounds like bro. an advertising thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. That makes no sounds sense. Sounds like to try and advertise it. And how can it, it's... anyhow? Why does that matter if it's gender neutral or exactly. not? If there's a Mister and a Mrs. Potato Head, yeah, exactly. you could buy them both. You could, yeah. you, you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. It makes it's, match. It, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? You take the stuff off it. Exactly. Yeah. You can so, make your own. So in a in a sense, in a sense, it's, advertising, it's always it? been gender neutral. Yeah. Exactly. Doesn't need messing with. Stop fucking about, Hasbro. Yeah, stop. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think it's an advertising thing. Do you know that, what? You know, like Chinese whistle kind I of thing. I actually was watching something, um, and do you know the board games that, um, like, uh, uh, you know, they used to make, like MB and Hasbro and yeah. stuff like that, they used to make all types of really weird, cool board games. Um, and yeah. I think they just stick to the, the sellers now. Yeah, they don't innovate and bring out anything else. I, I used to see, like... ESP games and fucking, you know, yeah. like, you know that opening scene from um, Ghostbusters where it's like, um, a, what 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 shape are you seeing? And it's like, I'm seeing a few wiggly lines and yeah. stuff like that. And they'd make a board game out of it or, you know, Ouija board or, you know, yeah. they'd, they'd had a good strong focus on paranormal games, you know, like um, for a while. And, yeah. and you don't see anything like that anymore. They never see... It's always like, I'm you know, shame, fucking, I don't know, what, what, you know, if you're not in a band, like, that's I suppose it's down to financial things as well, like, is One that direction where board more game people, or whatever. Yeah, because more, more people, the only time you really uh, play board games is if you're, you're together with your family and, like, the TV. Yeah, but you want to play a classic, don't off, you? you know it's I mean? always, like, Monopoly or whatever. You yeah, never, see, you, you never, you, right, yeah, listen, right, when was the last time you um, you whipped out Hungry Hungry Hippos and said, come on guys, let's have a bash of Hungry Hippos, it's a, it's a game you play when you're a kid, it it's not yeah. a family game, you know, you could play it with your kids, I yeah, suppose. you do one thing over and over again if it entertains the kids. Just rallying then, around it. and making a racket and then you well, like, right, him now, put that it? away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, that's it. But then you've got the some, you know, the intelligent games that you know uh, that they come out with. But then you've got a lot which to do with computers as well at the moment. Well, everyone's uh, a winner at the game yeah. of life. Yeah, get a job, a have a baby. <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> no. Do you re- not remember the um the what's it the game of life? Do you not remember the yeah, game of no. life? Um, the games I remember there was uh, Mastermind with the Chinese Mastermind, the, the yeah. Chinese woman on the box. Yes, there was yeah. Nowhere, yeah, there was a um, yeah. Cluedo. Cluedo. Yeah, um, snakes and ladders. Yeah, they call it Clue in America, don't they? Is that right? Clue. Yeah, Clue. It's just Clue. That's why the film was just called Clue. Do you know the film with um, what's his face? Oh, I forgot, I forgot, terrible with names. But you know what I'm saying. It's just called yeah. Clue in America. The film. I'm pretty sure. Right, okay. If I'm right. Let me know in the comments. But well, it's called Clu- yeah. Cluedo here, yeah, yeah, in the UK. Yeah, we, we like the dog. We've got a bit of dough on the end. <laughs> yeah, we've got a dough on the end, Sam. we got the money. Just like, well, we weren't content with Clue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can we just get... It's not got enough zing. Can we, get, no. can we just stick a dough yeah, on yeah, the end? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a dead end. Boom, there you go. That's what you get in no more than that. Yeah. But Cluedo, it's like, back, oh, you've got a little zinc on the end. It's you've like, got something. It's like yeah, almost man. like Homer playing Clue. And you, you know, know the Clue best bit What? I bet it took him months to to come up with that name. Yeah, but, it's a, it's, it, yeah, but, no, but it's a complicated game. They probably took him years to come up with a game. Well, yeah, but then the, the game master who, who made it, he's named it. With, Bang, that's with, what it with, is. Um, you know, like, Everyone agrees. Like Hercule like. Poirot fucking true crime like that. Yeah. You know, coming up with all them lead pipes and that. It must have took a while. Anyway, moving yeah. on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just read the book. There this you is, go. You got the yeah. You know what? I saw this story and I thought it was hilarious, but also quite sad at the same time. Hang on. Okay. So two, <laughs> so two, two dead um, after undercover cop shootout. Yeah. They shot Whoa. each other. Whoa. In a Filipino drug bust. Now, it is quite sad. I mean, I know I put the, the yeah. uh, music on, but, like, you know, this this is a case of two police lack officers... Of lack of communication. Two yeah. police officers in, in the Philippines were killed in a shootout um, mm. with another federal agency. So during the, um, the, the kerfuffle, the um, an undercover drug bust was going on. According to the official statement, um, the two officers were working for the PNP... 
um, which is the Philippines National Police Department, on yeah. a case. And um, the other agents were from the Filipino Drug Enforcement Agency, right? So they've oh, come in, right. both probably Kicked work off. in the same case. He's undercover, and two they of them, don't know. two of them have been Turned shot in a, in a shootout. Ah, uh, sir, so that, that's that's, that's bad, a lack of how communication. Mad that, that's of a lack of communication. Problem, that you know, you think that, that if yeah. you know they was working a case, but you know, this is this is why I think transparency in these yeah. departments. It's you know, it's all well and good having your secrets. Yeah, but you've got national be, security and all the rest of it. But when you're yeah, all on the same team, it's easy makes said than fucking done, knowing sense certain to me. aspects. Do you know what I mean? This is the thing. It's, it's, diff- it's easy to say in different aspects because let's say there's a big drug lord out there in your the, the, the drug department and you want to get someone. Hey, I can't go and Tony tell Montana. a normal police officer because what? I found out that a normal police officers are being paid. Well, you know what I mean? So yeah. you can't trust your own as well, and especially Where in Where are we in Gotham? Countries. Are we in well, Gotham? Well, no, but here? you do get paid. You, you pay an officer it's off. It's the dirty streets of Gotham. Any, and all the drug dealers price. are getting paid. Paid yeah, for matter. dirty He's blood up. money. It all comes down to their morals and their financial problem at that time. Nobody's so, got yeah. any morals. You know. Swear you to know. me. If you're in <laughs> oh, debt, <sorry. laughs> you know. Uh, away. You, you're going to take it if you really need it. So, if you think you can get away with it, you, you will. You can take it if you yeah. really want. It's just normal. It's normal aspects of life. Like, you know, survival yeah, yeah. of the fittest. You've got to survive, even though the state's fucking... Why you. did they not go... I oh, mean, Well, I suppose it's one of them, though. It's caught in the headlights, isn't it? Because the fucking QCPD fucking yeah. busting. but down Special Operations Unit. And they're and like... They weren't shouting out shit. what they are. Oh, yeah, because the QCPD, which yeah, is and the, the noise um, Quenzon were... City... Police, police district special operations unit were involved as well so you know yeah. they everyone comes in right mm. you've got your undercover officers i'm yeah. assuming they're probably like shit this isn't my guys yeah what do yeah, they exactly. do they rather pull out the badges and risk their whole operation or remain undercover with and try and salvage their I operation it comes down yeah. to who shot first and then if they're some fucking long gunman or fucking, I don't know, some trigger happy fucking itchy trigger finger. <laughs> One of your yeah. crew, who's not a cop, starts going, fuck you, copper, and starts fucking whipping his gun out sideways and shooting off a couple of rounds, then it's, it's well, game over, is isn't it? Thing. What? You know what I mean? Hindsight's a great thing, um, but like, I, I, I think it's the, the Star Wars thing. Of who, who shot, shot first? first? Yeah, who shot first, basically, because then it, it instigates what the other person would do. Well... You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Or, but, all I mean, right, most of the time it would be, I, I, I'm pointing a gun at each other and go, right, hold on, uh, don't shoot, uh, I'll shoot well, you. Well, no, you, I mean, you, I think the the who shot first argument is more about moral uh, char- um, thingy of character, isn't it? I mean, it's like Han Solo... Yeah, but it's the undercover... By co- Han Solo... Oh, of course, yeah, but he, I mean... He shot a cop, he shot one of yeah, his Yeah, no, but he, 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 that was accidental and he didn't know it. But what I'm saying is, if he was trying to get away with it, he can say, or not get away with it, or feel better about the situation, is he could always say, well, I, it, I didn't shoot first, I was shooting, and I didn't know he was undercover. So, as far as I was concerned, yeah. I was putting bad guys down, which is well, fair. There's probably a couple yeah. more eyewitnesses of officers. It's a and difficult take situation, each isn't it? Yeah, this it is, is it. It's, it's a very difficult situation. But yeah, well, um, sadly, it's an operation that's gone wrong. Uh, yeah. Management need. To well, get I can say though, when like, oh. when I first read it, I thought mm. that's just one of them totally ironic situations where it's like um, it's sad yeah. but quite quite comedy at the mo- at the same time. But then you yeah. know, it's one yeah. of them, isn't it? It's like families and stuff. Uh, well, know. that's it. Yeah, there's an underpath of it in the real. It's not not just the, um, the the main story. Well, I got this story quick. Um, yeah, the, the, this is you. I read this and I thought this is you. Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. Man fakes his own kidnapping because he didn't want to go to work. <laughs> Did you know uh, what? Right. Uh, I no, think, I haven't you done know, that one. Yet. I've, I've never done that one. <laughs> no. I mean, I've used some excuses in my day to get off work. Uh, I'll but, be honest, I was going to kidnap someone, but 
That's a different story. I have kidnapped someone. <laughs> yeah. So don't, so don't. I've had people in the trunk. So I'll definitely have people in my trunk and car. Oh, well, that's a story. But they were voluntary. Um, you know, you didn't want to go. You, you, you know, if you don't want to go to work, then maybe that's not the right job for you. But you know, when a man, that's you know, rings into work or rings in and says you can't go to work because he's been kidnapped, takes pictures of him tied up, bound and gagged. And I'm guessing the police knocked on his door and he was sat there having a cup of tea. And they were like, um, "We just had a report from like your management that your kidnapped is the fault." Is what's this? Well, he posted a video. So he oh, basically shit, that's man, even worse. He man beats himself up and fakes his own kidnapping to get out of work. I will post it on Twitter. Um, also, you know, he basically said he just wanted to get out of a day, a Wednesday at work. Um, he's, recent, he's since then been um, charged and pleaded guilty to reporting false information to law enforcement. Yeah. So that's uh-huh. what you get. Yeah, but that's that's going over the top, isn't it, really? You beat yourself up. He beat himself You tie yourself up. to a chair. He tied his hands and uh, own, with his yeah. own belt, stuck yeah. a bandana in his mouth. I don't, what was and he doing? Threw, him, threw himself yeah, off the side. Or what, he, f- what? he threw himself onto the side of the road oh, and what? faked the kidnapping on the February 10th. According to local police, he also f- fabricated a complex story about his rich father a trove of buried cash um, that's hidden in the desert and two masked kidnappers who didn't care uh, that he was missing his uh, shift at the auto shop. <laughs> the auto shop? You're joking me. No oh, that's so way. Good. Yeah, so, you know... I mean, that is beyond... Right, I, I, do you know what? There was, this totally reminds me of um, a story from when, we, when, I was a, um, when I was in school and a couple of my mates um, were bunking off and and yeah. they they couldn't be bothered bunking off anymore. Yeah, so um, they decided. You mean they, they wanted to learn? Oh, no, 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 they, they just wanted to go home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. fair enough. But it was like about one o'clock in the afternoon, and it was like still quite a few hours to go as a child, you know, like or as a teenager, you're like oh, I still got a couple of hours, and I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, I've got to ride it out till home time at least. Yeah, Do you know what I mean. And, yeah. Um, so they, they fabricated a story and said they couldn't get to school because they got kidnapped and, and beaten up and and, oh, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, right. And then, so they decided to go home and give this story. Yeah, and they beat each other up. <laughs> yeah, right. What? So it's pretty similar. So yeah. they just had a fight and then went, they had a yeah, fight. So got kidnapped. Said they got kidnapped and that's why they didn't go to school that day. And then as I was walking home to, you know, at home time, yeah, yeah. right. I walked past his house and there was a police van outside. Oh, shit. Did they get... What did they get? They were giving descriptions of these... Um, no, they carried it on? Yeah, of course they did. To this day, did it... Did I'm, like... I'm assuming to this day, so I've just... I'm not naming names, but if, if, you, if you ever listen, you know who you are. Yes, you do. <laughs> you naughty little boy. Oh, my I, God. I, I wait to knock on and go, what's that happening? That's a serious <laughs> charge, my so, life. Bad. Oh, we, oh. See, we was many, many, many years ago now. So anything you've yeah. seen in the news? Um, yes, I've uh, seen plenty of facts. Right, well, uh, New Zealand and uh, Australian University of New South Wales and a German research company. I thought you were going to say a German Sunday shepherd. Summer. Oh, no, no. That, that would have been next. a team, that. <laughs> Well, they're looking we've got at all uh, the experts. We've got a research t- team. We've got a German scientist and a German shepherd. A German shepherd sniffing uh, sorry, out I'm on a bit of a Go on. Go on. I'm one tonight. I've well, been eating the mushrooms. They're radio, uh, radio carbon dating um, uh, some trees that are 42,000 years old. Right. To try and work out about, uh, you know, uh, the they, north and the say, south pole switching. I was going to say, if they wanted to know how old they are, you count the rings. Yeah, well, they were they were looking at uh, different aspects of it, but mostly to deal with, because it's so old, they can actually work out... No, I know, I see it all the time, um, where they can kind of carbon date coal and, like, um, woods where, you know, where... See, yeah. the, the thing about wood, when it's... Um, <clears throat> obviously died or a tree's collapsed and then it's been buried it yeah. all then pre- all that pressure and stuff generally turns it to coal sometimes or yeah, like yeah. a dark dark wood 
Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're able to, they're still able to kind of get a time period out of it. Definitely. Oh yeah, but yeah. these trees were like on top, and they was they're still like look like dead trees, basically. Right. But they're forty two thousand years old. Fucking they're, hell. Yeah. New Zealand, not you know what I mean. So they've been, they've obviously been in the right place, and it, it's kept its. Uh, this is the thing, isn't it? These places like throughout the world where stuff is just naturally preserved i mean like um, i was watching a really interesting thing on like salt really interesting thing on salt peter the other week and um yeah and in terms of like um preserving like bogs and peat peat, um bogs you know um preserve like dead things like really well and gases the amount of gases that are under them that's why uh, we'd like to you know, keep them really because as soon as they go, the gases get released. We have far too much gas. Ooh, Speak for you yourself. Know. Get some windies. Well, no, I like I like the smell. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of them. So, I, uh, you've got, I got yeah, a you Prius. Got, you know, <laughs> you smell yourself. Yeah, 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 that smells right. That. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's disgusting, uh, any folks? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, These I people are sat there eating the eating the Bill. porridge or whatever. <laughs> Porridge? <laughs> We're already in prison, where? Yeah, go on then. Well, maybe. I have some porridge. Oh, yeah, that's Can't true. Can't rule that's it true. out. Yeah, that's true. Well, they basically worked listening. out that <laughs> um, uh, the magnetic uh, pole shift uh, takes uh, uh, 42,000 years ago it happened, the last one. And it takes over 500 years to actually take a, a full rotation. We, was, we were saying now. that because we weren't it when it shit when it flipped. Are we going to all yeah. like go whoa? Suddenly well, it like, seems now we've got more evidence that it's going to go slow. It's not going to go like because it was thought. estimations in half a, half a millisecond. It would just fucking switch. But no, they've got uh, more evidence now to say that it will go do it over a period of 500 years. But that's just like that's. That's like a period of 500 years of chaos. You know what I mean? Right, okay. That's, yeah. Uh, and they reckon um, that um, 6 to uh, 0% weekly will be uh, changed. So some weeks you might have, you know, volcanoes going off, earthquakes, this, that, and the other. And then so the 20, next week you have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so just yeah. a general normal week in 20 or 21, 22. Yeah, but that should be far off to the future but 2022 like, then yeah so yeah don't worry yeah about maybe it. maybe 2024 that's why we you know you should never say it. that yeah you know well, that's what i remember the most from school right mm. i remember all these kind of um you know lessons about volcanoes and geography in geography class uh, we'd all yeah. be talking and like and i'd say you know but is that not, you know, that is, when's that going to happen then? Because he'd say stuff about, like, end of the world and, you know, like, in terms yeah. of climate change. We were getting taught about climate change back then, yeah? Yeah. yeah and yeah. he said, you know, and they were even drumming it into us. I'm talking when I was about eight years old. They were saying, we need to act now, yeah, because we, you know, when they were, you know, that okay. was then. Yeah. They're still saying that now. We need to yeah. act now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? And yeah. It's, it's, it's hilarious because... Um, I'd said to my teacher, and I remember asking clearly, but, you know, you know, being in that situation, Mm. when will that happen? Oh, and she said, oh, don't you worry, it won't happen in our lifetime. Yeah. Like, our lifetime is getting closer. And it is getting closer and closer to being in my, happening in my lifetime. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you can't never say, oh, it'll be a long time off that yet. Do you know what I mean? Because you never know. Yeah, you never know what's around the corner. Exactly. You don't. I mean, we don't even know what we're fucking sitting on. You know what I mean? The Earth. We don't know the extent of. We we estimate and guess, but we do not know. We think <laughs> we know more, and we do not know well, fuck all. Realistically, whether but whether round or flat, you never yeah. know. <laughs> right, no, that's it. Well, um, I've got a couple more NASA stories, some NASA and space UFO stuff. Um, have you got anything in the mainstream news before we move on, sir? I have. I have one more. Go for it. Uh, and it's about sperm. 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 Every sperm yeah. is sacred, kids. Every sperm uh, is good. And every sperm, sperm is needed counts. in your neighbourhood. What? Threat to human survival uh, experts. Another one. one. Ah, Ooh, you see, the, this is that show I was watching the other week, Utopia. Yeah, I was talking right. about it. It was really good. But I do recommend it. Check it out on Amazon Prime. 
its first season there. Um, I do remember watching it, actually, because somebody pointed out that there was a UK version, and when they sent me a link to the trailer, I went, yeah, I've seen this. But funnily oh, enough, it didn't ring Kick a off. bell when I was watching the new series. Was it series. named something else? No, it was the same. called exactly the same thing. It was just one was a UK Channel 4 version, and I just okay. don't know if it was the way it was played out that, or if it was just so unmemorable, but... I do remember oh, watching it. Oh, you've been abducted. Maybe I've been abducted. Yeah, you look that kind of um, But yeah, in that, there's um, a bit of a plot to release a virus that doesn't kill off the population. It um, but it basically sterilises everyone for a, a period of time. So There's a lot of talk about that at the moment around the, uh, the world. That there's, uh, under Agenda 21 doing it for a couple of years to yeah. stop uh, the well, growth. That's, that's it, yeah, it gives, of, gives um, what's people make a chance difference? to kind of like sort the planet out a bit. But, but what's going to make the difference, to be honest, because what, you're going to do it a couple of years where we stop fucking each like other and making babies. You'd but expect. then four years down the line, you've got a fucking generation. You've, st- you've only stopped it for a little while. It's not going to help. Well, this is the thing. I mean, you can't yeah. you can't have your cake and eat it. Unfortunately, it's like we yeah, exactly. It's, it's a like, short term. But the thing is, it's and like why work. do we need the bigger? Why does this population need to keep growing? Is the problem? And then, like, you can't. The only other problem is uh, uh, option is expand, and I think that's what this all this tra- space travel stuff's yeah, about. Yeah, I've got to agree with you there. You can't. But again, it makes me laugh because we all choose to live in really, um, really kind of condensed populations. We don't spread out these parts. We're, like, of, we're a group. These packed, parts of the packed, world that's why. that is like you know vast and empty, and yeah. we don't utilize it. And, and yeah, because oh, we, because we, you know what it is it. because we're fucking uh, creatures of comfort, and yeah. we don't want to live anything where it, anywhere where it might be a bit harsh and barren. Right to know if something happens down the road, at least I know uh, someone down the road could hear what's happened down there. There's and, no, there's know, no cost of coffee or yeah. Starbucks. That's what it is. Yeah. So basically, the experts have said fifty nine percent drop between nineteen seventy three to two thousand and eleven. And they estimate by 2044, the sperm count will be zero. Well, that's speak, how bad it is. Speak for yourself, son. Uh, um, so, well, I well, think mine are working. Flying all over my room. Well, like you say, I mean, well, if that's the case, we're fucked. Well, yeah, but they've known about some of this stuff, like uh, estrogen, like having, uh, you know, the wi- uh, the women having the after pill and then the, um, the after effects going into the water. Uh, the, it doesn't get um, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, taken yeah. out through the treatment plan. So, do you so, think that's what it yeah. is? It's been it. We're, oh, it's we're, proven that one we're, part we're, is that we're kind of drinking stuff, yeah. estrogen. Yeah, that is one part. It's even changing fish. This oh, is yeah, the I've thing. It's changing this, fish. Yeah, I've seen that actually. Yeah, but the thing is, it just carries on. They're all, you know what well, I mean? And they're we all swimming around looking like Pamela Anderson. Us. Well, we pollute all our waters around us. You know what I mean? It's not fresh. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> And, like, we get, like, a, a little percentage. Through, yeah, but that's another uh, like thing, isn't it? Because, companies. like I say, it's like we're using, um, I mean, we're recycling water that's going round and round a system, yeah. whereas, like, I we're mean, we get, we get rainfall and stuff, but, yeah. like, you know, generally, how many times has that been through the treatment plan and added chlorine and stuff? I taste the chlorine, so I don't really tend to drink tap water. Well, you when know. I was in London, I'm up in the north now, but when I was in London, it was used seven times before it reached me. Well, really? Yeah. yeah. It's been through seven seven bodies before Seven it's bodies, got to yeah, you. before it reached me. That was the estimation. Oh, lovely. Yeah. But, you know, if we're going to go into space, we're going to have to... That's what we're going to have to do, uh, isn't it? Yeah. ...work out all this kind no, of it's stuff. It's like Red Dwarf, isn't it? Like, it. Um, yeah. We're going to have to start drinking the urine recycle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, oh, no, nasty. not for me, thanks. Um, no, I'm back, yeah, well, I don't know. You can like, you can't say it until you're in that desperate situation that you would, you would do it. Well, that's you can't true, say actually. you're that thirsty and, and unless you do if it. If you're in a dire situation, then yeah, these, these, yeah. these, 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 these um, there is different reasons. These lines, for doing you, these that. definitely well, we'll do it on lines you cross. Out, you know you know, yeah. everyone's lines move if you need yeah. to. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, in but, terms of a survival situation. Do you yeah. know? So yeah, I, I can I can agree with that. Um, yeah. 
Right, well, moving on, we've got some um, yeah. NASA news, SpaceX news, yeah. and Mars news. Um, Mars sent the first images back um, yes, they recently. Yes. There's been a couple of videos um, of the actual landing, which were quite entertaining, um, yeah. from different perspectives, which I thought was cool, because this is what I was hoping to see on the night, to be honest. Yes, yeah, you know, yeah. like, um, I wanted to see it all detach. But unfortunately, it was a delay or they, they have to bring it all online before it can transmit those videos. Or maybe yeah. this, because I was watching, right? And I was thinking to myself, that guy's got it on the screen. Yeah, he can see it because there was a point when he went, yes. Yeah, and he bumped his yeah. fist in the air a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> and I saw something like he was watching a, a video. It was almost like, you know, you, when you see that flash of light off a TV screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like to suggest that you're watching a a, a video, a moving Live. image. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I was like, why aren't we allowed to see that? And it was a day or two later that this this footage came out, and it was the 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 detachment of the heat shields and the yeah. um the the drop from the yeah from the anchors the, from the anchors, and basically um with its umbilical cord transmitting data into the the rover. Yeah. and stuff like that really cool and then it drops and um it it changes perspective from the the bug to the yeah. actual um jet thing that flies off yeah yeah, yeah. it's going to get destroyed it's going to fly off and crash somewhere and Super get cool. picked up yeah yeah so, I, um, I like the fact where they've landed as well because they've Jeb landed on the bed of where they think there's a load of sediment. Well, of course, yeah, because it looks like you can see it from the um, aerial f- uh, photographs that it looks yeah. like um, a, a... A river coming into a river this, bed, like, yeah, lake. Yeah, and you can yeah. see the, the delta um, coming yeah. in, so you can see the in and out, so you know that there was yeah. a flow of water coming into that crater. So that yeah. crater was more likely a lake, yeah. yeah. And like you say, sediment, um, other kind of fossils... Yeah. Um, 22 cameras is on there rounded pebbles that sort of thing just to prove that there was, well, there was life uh, that's anything one of the that photos they that they were happy to see what rounded they were pebbles really happy to see yeah that was uh, because I was uh, watching on the elements of um, uh, how over the years they've sent uh, they've gone over at Mars and do they believe that there's anything that could have lived there uh, you know like uh, humanoid uh, and they're say, basically saying no because we were born at the same time as they were, but they had um, some kind of um, uh, yeah, but problem. We, there's been civilizations. And it would be microids. They reckon been, only microids. Well, there's but, been civilizations on Earth before us. You can't say, yeah, oh, we I were here so. at the yeah. same time. There's been so many I civilizations here out, on Earth. Like, Do you know yeah. what I mean? You can't turn around and say. I mean, look at the Mayans or the even kind of Sumerians. You've got so many civilizations. Yeah. The fucking... It's like... I think sometimes people forget where they come from and it's like even in terms of like empires and stuff like that. Yeah. You think about the British Empire was big. But yeah. when you think of like the the fucking Mongolian, Mongolian Empire, yeah, yeah. which was a bajillion... Well, I say bajillion. I don't get me facts and numbers right. But, you know, it was so much bigger than... Yeah, the the you, Ingl- the the fucking British Empire or the Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah, they had more people. Definitely, he had. Fucking so to say millions. that life couldn't have. I mean, you've got to think of it as well. Like one lot of life, we already discussed it tonight. Dinosaurs, yeah, yeah had already evolved and was extinct on this yeah. planet. Yeah, before we came along. So it stands yeah. to reason that that's a lot of time and a, enough time. For a yeah. species to grow and evolve, become intelligent and kill yeah. them and destroy themselves. Yeah. In my yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And not so only that, prove there's me wrong. time as well to go uh, under and there's time as well to go out. Well, So we're, this could be the base of every civilization around the uh, around the uh, universe for all we know. Well, we'll be, we'll be um, looking at more of the NASA stuff when it comes with the Mars stuff because... Um, yeah. There's going to be some exciting um, coverage coming up with the um, helicopter that's attached yes, to the, yes. the Perseverance rover, which is really good. And I was yeah. watching a bit of a, a documentary about that. I don't know if you've seen it, about um, how they got it to work, um, knowing that 
the atmosphere's like one per one percent of yeah. of Earth's atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. So if you think about how a helicopter works, it works by creating downforce, pushing air. Yeah. Yeah. So because let me guess, can, is it is the force within the two? Um, well, it actually it has to, actually has to spin close to the speed of sound. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, because it needs to create that. enough uplift. Because if you yeah. think about, so what you do is a lot of power that no? Of course, exactly right. And and it and it's not we've got very long on the um, time. Do you know you can yeah. fly it for about a minute and a half? Yeah. Joking, before, is no, that before it? you have to recharge it, right? And it's autonomous flight, so it'll fly off probably just straight up in the air, get an aerial shot. Yeah. Do you know? And then come back down. Come back down. Yeah, right. And that's probably the max it's going to be able to do. But it's like if you think about how a helicopter works, like I say, it needs to create a down down thrust, right? Yeah. And considering there's hardly any oxygen in the yeah. atmosphere of Mars, that means it needs to spin its blade so much faster to create that same amount of... Yeah. So it's like 36 times the speed of a regular helicopter... Yeah. I'll tell you what, right. I, I've got to give it to him. If this fucking works, I've yeah. got to give well, it to him. Well, they've tested it, and there's a there's a, ch- a chamber in the NASA laboratories in there, the, the fucking... Um, the, yeah, the, the like, big black box. Yeah, and they're able yeah. to simulate gravitational... So the, the gravity yeah. of any planet, right? So they're able to get it in there and test it. So if you were to set it to an Earth gravity and try and fly that helicopter in there... It, it, it just made no, no. You, yeah, that's what you'd expect, wouldn't you? Yeah, right. But that's not what happens. It just makes a, it can't generate. It's generate because the problem with like generating thrust is you need it to be spinning at a certain speed to to yeah. create lift, so, right? Yeah. Whereas if it's spinning too slow or spinning too fast, it won't. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. rotation's got to be right. Rot- rotation's got to be the right pitch, if you like. Yeah. Right. So. I don't know how I know all this about helicopters. Right? Yeah, you're but, you know, a bit, bit smart, you, on the side, aren't you? So basically, <laughs> yeah, right, this helicopter needs to spin its blades at, like, say, close to the speed of sound yeah. to get okay, the no. same amount of lift as it would on Earth, right? So, like you say, if it's set to Earth gravity or you try to fly it on Earth, the blades are just spin so super fast and yeah. you wouldn't do anything. It'd just make a racket. It just more zoom, chance of coming off, and you know, just spin. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't really, it wouldn't get any lift, right? Mm. But as soon as you set the chamber to a, the gravity of Mars, then you do. You get what you you get. Good lift. Now, yeah. apparently, this was supposed to be um, a manual flight helicopter, but apparently, okay. it, there's a, such a delay that you can't control it. So apparently, oh, yeah. Well, computerize it. Well, this is what they've had to do. They've right, autonomized the they've, mo- they've autonomized it, so it'll do autonomous flights. But like you say, it'll just literally, um, it's programmed to do what? Just basically go up, have a little a look, scan set, around the area, and it'll come It'll have back a down. few set patterns, I assume. Yeah. And it'll say right, it's programmed to do that, so we want it to do an aerial reconnaissance. Possibly updates pattern, as well. Something like that. Yeah, maybe it might get updated. Yeah, I should imagine it should have room to, uh, for updates. And don't forget, this is this is the real test for this it. Is the if first, we can do the this, first time it's ever been attempted. So you know, I think it's yeah. really good and pioneering stuff. So yeah, yeah. let's see what happens there. Yeah, um, what fun. else? Um, SpaceX. Um, they're launching some more <laughs> Starlink satellites. A fleet will go up um, tomorrow. Um, right. So, yeah, well, is it tonight? From Even with these tonight satellites, now, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah, so it's up. Yeah. They'll be sending it up from Cape Canaveral. Uh, SpaceX will launch its next batch of Starlink satellites on Sunday the 28th. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. Yeah, it's just tonight, yeah. Uh, Sweet. Really cool, That's that, cool. because I've already seen people getting use <clears throat> out of these Starlinks, people who were living Have in you? remote... Um, areas. There was a guy on YouTube because I was quite interested. Okay. Do you know, like, uh, to see yeah. what the the Starlink was about and how do you have it... to join them? What? What? How, Basically, you, know how the you buy works? you buy a satellite sort of like a panel. It's like a little right. sort of diamond panel on yeah. a stand, and yeah. that's your sort. It's like a satellite re- dish receiver, and okay. um, yeah, it like seems that. really easy to set up and plug in. And all you do is you 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 whack it into your router. And yeah. um, that that Get provides anything. your internet, you know. 
And um, this guy was living in, living out in a remote location, and he said he was getting like half a meg, you know, upload speeds yeah. and about half a meg download speeds, and he was like struggling for internet. And especially yeah. in this day and age, you can't do nothing on half yeah. a meg. Um, and no, he, he he said he was broadbanding it up now. Do you know, like smooth, smooth, he's, smooth he's internet? Too fast now. Well, he's just happy. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that, so I think. That, that, that's I think it. He, I'm not sure if it's a subscription based or if it's just a buy a buy the one off piece of equipment and you've got the internet and you've got access to the internet. Um, I would have thought. I'd like uh, to have a look a bit more into it, but I mean, yeah. it's, I assume that it's going to be a bit of a game changer in terms of getting like um, broadband to to remote areas of the world and get, uh, getting everybody the same advantages well. of everybody else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it so, could end up being a free thing. Like energy and stuff, it Ooh. depends on um, w- if he can keep the money rolling in to actually cover it from what they've got. Elon Musk, free internet to the world. I've seen yeah. that somewhere else. It was a plot of a villain. Well, I would imagine if uh, uh, the government won't do it, but a private corporation would do it to bring more people hey, it's to It's good it. PR, isn't it, yeah? It is. It's brilliant PR. And then you, then you start... I mean, it's like a computer console. You buy the console... But they're losing money by uh, making yeah, that Yeah, it's like if Microsoft turned around and said, everybody it. who wants the next Xbox gets it for free, because yeah. you know for a fact that everybody who buy, well. everyone who gets one will be buying games off you for the next 10 years. Yeah, you know you know, what I mean? these like, little extra stuff that you need, like extra pads when they're broke. Yeah, or, exactly. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. I mean, there's so benefits to being, um, you know, philanthropists and being um, like nice people. And not only that, and you know what? The best thing of all of it is that it will work for the poor. The poor will have it for nothing. I'm poor. (laughs) Well, you know what I mean? If it was free, the poor can can access it and get a bit more, you know, a a bit more up in life. Yeah. Know what I mean? I look forward to it. Uh, The FBI have confirmed reports of um, a long cylindrical UFO. Have you seen this? Oh no! I said it, yet. Oh. In, in 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 the FBI words, it was moving really fast <laughs> over New Mexico. Just really fast, really fast. Yeah. So um, basically, American airline pilots um, have had an encounter of a strange yeah. UFO over New Mexico. It was a long cylindrical object with a photo. I will take the photo and send it to um, the Twitter sphere. Yes. Um, and um, yeah, it's been basically. Is it a good Leaked. photo? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just basically a, sil- is a glowing... It a light sil- or is it like... It's kind of like a light, but it's like it's a, a big cylindrical... It. Can you see it? No, yeah. No, yeah, I can see the photo. It's um, like a radar sort of photo, but Oh, not, right, okay. Um, but, like, basically, it's um, a big, long, cylindrical beam or, like, bright light yeah. shape. Um, yeah. And the American Airlines and the Federation of Aviation Administration have confirmed the encounter... Um, the Federal Bureau of Investigation are also aware of reports, um, of, and they're going to look into it. So, but it still remains a mystery. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm liking. I'm. He sort of put a spot in the smile on my face, but I don't know how much I trust it. Why? On right? that kind of it's thing, like now no, everyone's you know I mean? going. Because oh yeah, we've we've let all the authorities know. Everyone's aware of it. Let, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know when we know more. Because they're, sta- like they they're starting to look like they are agreeing with uh, those who have been trying to fight for this for so long that uh, they're actually turning around and going, yeah, we're, well, yeah, we're actually investigating this instead of going, yeah, we've seen it, it's a fucking spot. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's top secret or whatever uh, they want to say. They're actually... If they do put the effort in, it seems like they're more putting the effort in, but I... And I still don't trust it until something more heavy comes out, if you know what I mean. Like, well, you know, the so president comes out and goes, yeah, you know what? We fucking knew about it. Well, Everyone's I, been I like, might have a bit more for you here because an, ooh, in another it. incident um, and another UFO mystery, American yeah. Airlines have come out yet again and said another UFO encounter has happened and it's happened many times before and um, it's um, baffling. And I've got audio. Have you? Yeah. Do you want to listen? Yeah, give us a listen, man. All right, okay, one second. Twindos. Oh, Innovation shit. One by Miele. Ultra Phase 1 detergent ensures perfectly clean...
that wasn't right. One second. If you always put adverts at the front of these things, it does me head in. You know what I mean? You don't think of people doing bloody radio shows here, do they? One minute. Adverts. Right. Here we go. Go for it. Something go right over the top of us that, I hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. So, there you go. It's the perfect family you know what, car. Oh, oh bloody no. yeah. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah. So, that was the <laughs> audio, I'm assuming, from this... Um, encounter. Encounter. Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, it sounds uh, pretty normal, to be honest. So, uh, uh, sounds pretty with, normal, like, um, you know, going over the top. Yeah. Wow. And, like, sort of scaring them. How do you mean scary? What, shitting up the pilot, well, they, you mean? Yeah. They, they seem to test planes. They seem to, you know, fly alongside, see what you do, follow it. Or, well, uh, we'll yeah, but if you, think about like, chicken. Um, if you think about, like, a guy in a sports car who pulls up um, next to somebody else yeah. in a sports car in the... In the um, Provocative, they the, be. Yeah, they're being, like, uh, they start revving up, like, you yeah. know, being all kind of like, my car's better than yours, you know. I think yeah. that's, that's probably exactly the same. I do it on my bike. Yeah, but in, you know what I mean? Like my, my, my spoky dokies are better than yours. I've got better stickers. Ah, you got flat tire, you just got to Yeah, you got to punch me. <laughs> yeah, stickers, I've got a better kit than you. Stickers sticking his spokes. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I remember it was just stick a, 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 like a juice carton in the back of your tire, so, so it sounded sound like, like an a engine. motorbike, yeah. Yeah, I used to love doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Did that a couple of years ago, I think, actually, I did just that to test week. it out what again. About? <laughs> well, you? My bike's set up like that now, what are you on about? <laughs> now you can hear me come around that corner at 15 Oh, yeah, that, 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 that news story I was talking about before, it was um, it was the former Solar Wind CEO who blamed his intern. His password for anyone interested was SolarWinds123, so you can go and log in and check out some um, secure data. <laughs> Any uh, NASA news you've One, seen two, this week? Three. Yes, I have one. Okay. Um, there was a mystery object that hit Jupiter. We think it is it an hit asteroid. Jupiter. Yeah, there was a, a flash at 1.75 milliseconds that they caught on camera. Um, uh, heat sensitive um, satellite images showing that there was a, a, a spark, which it was it, considering. Uh, Could it have not was, been an eruption? Massive. No, it, it was definitely it was no, an it impact. Yeah, it was sick. an impact. Yeah, it was a massive impact as well. Oh, I well, see it. Can you Google that? Can you? Uh, yeah, Google it. Yeah, uh, NASA will have the images. I'll on have a look for that. Yeah, well. Well, I won't mind having a look for that. Um, yeah. but but in my head, that's way more epic than the photos are ever going to be. I think. Well, I don't think you're going to see like. Uh, I think it was uh, 1996 when um, a meteorite was coming towards us, and it broke up into like. 11 pieces and hit Jupiter. Um, it was a big story back then. Um, I don't think we're going to get the images like that, but I, I hope we I hope we do. I hope we get some really good images of it because we, we should have the technology now to see well, see the thing get it. Yeah, yeah. let's see what but happens. The satellite picked it up and they did see a flash and they've gone back and checked it time and time again to make sure that there's no uh, data written interruption or errors and it seems to be... Uh, uh, it did, uh, which thankfully, because if it didn't hit that, it probably was past us or it is. Right, cool. Because they have saved us a number of times, that big, beautiful uh, planet. That's what we want. Yeah. Saving the day. Yeah, always, man. Oh, man. Well, it's been, um, well, we've actually done quite a lot today. Well, we've got actually got a promo to play this week. And uh, this week, um, our promo is uh, Riddle Me That podcast. Um, she got. Yeah. Um, some really entertaining um, true crime mysteries and um, cases. Some stuff that you know you wouldn't even think, you know. But she does she does a really good job, Doctor Jules. So get yeah. over and check out um, the Riddle Me This podcast. And I believe we've got a promo. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jules from Riddle Me That True Crime. I have a passion for all things crime and psychology. And I have a PhD in transpersonal counseling, so I love research and I like to do deep dives into cases. I recently did a three-part series on the disappearance of Madeline McCann. 
I promise you, this is coverage that you haven't heard anywhere else. I also do cases that are lesser known, such as the case of Keith Warren, who in 1986 was found hanging from a tree in Silver Spring, Maryland. His death was classified as a suicide, but things don't add up in the case. Keith was found wearing clothes that weren't his. The 911 caller said that someone had committed suicide in her boyfriend's basement, and when emergency services arrived, the body was in the woods and not in the basement. Keith's mother, Mary, would receive a manila envelope that would call the suicide conclusion by police into question. There were copies of police photos and a note that predicted the death of Keith's friend, Mark Finley. Mark Finley calls Mary to unburden himself, but he would never get the chance. Before he gets a chance to meet up with Mary, he is killed in a freak accident, though some believe it was murder. 2020 is a strange year, and it is comforting to have a favorite podcast to keep you company. I would love to be that podcast. Subscribe to Riddle Me That True Crime on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, and wherever you get your podcasts. There you go. Thank you so much for sending us your promo. Um, yeah, we, we take promos. If you want to send us one, you know what to do. You send it over to Never uh, Never a Straight Answer Podcast at gmail.com and um, we'll send you ours in return as well. You know what I mean? A bit of, yeah. bit of cross, cross, cross platform stuff for me, yeah. Jobby. You know what I'm oh. saying? And many don't. <laughs> yeah, bit, that's true. Getting a bit tired now. Um, so, yeah, it's late. yeah, thank you very much. Um, where are we up to? We've got some shout outs this week. We have. Oh, as always. Oh, yeah. You know what? You know what? If you want a shout out as well, yeah, right, you know what to do. You can get over to Patreon um, at patreon.com slash never a straight answer. Um, and you can um, throw in a quid, a fiver, yeah. whatever you want, whatever you sh- can do to show your support if you like what we do over here on the show. Um, a few yeah, guys who that. did um, are Big J. Yeah, Big J. Dunk, dunk. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Big hand for swoosh. Yes, swoosh. Thank yeah, you man. for, oh, to the, um, the, cow, um, the cow meat shop. Yes, um, a thank new you. butchers opening in Manchester City Centre. A Brazilian butchers get them um, all your nice uh, cuts of meat, very nice. It looks really cool shop as well. The guys over there look really friendly. So go in, what about meat? Get grab, over there. grab some um, steaks or whatever you desire, and tell them the boys at Never Straight Answer sent you. Uh, yeah, oh, that'll yeah. be lovely. Um, yeah, summertime coming up now, innit? Oh yeah, get your barbecues ready. Yeah, you barbecue know what I mean. Summer. So, yeah, get over to the... Um, well, I posted a story on Instagram anyway, so you can check them out. Uh, yeah. Thanks for everyone who's played the Chain Connections. Uh, cheers, Alistair, for winning this week. Thanks, yeah. Taylor, for yeah. being just a, a, a delicious co-host. You're amazing. Thank you, uh, yourself. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thanks for everyone who's listening. Um, it's a great episode this week. Really, really love the was. topic. Um, like I say, if you want to support us and you like what we do, get over to Never a Straight Answer on Patreon. Um, also, we're on Buy Me a Coffee at buymecoffee.com slash NASA Pod. Come on, buy me a coffee. I um, need the coffee. We'll be doing the Super Pod in a week or two, so oh. we'll be giving you information about that soon, about where listen you can out, listen. Um, if you've got any questions or you want to leave us a comment or a suggestion, you can send us an email. You can do that at one of several places. We've got a couple of emails. One's neverstraightanswer at gmail.com. Or never a straight answer podcast at gmail.com. You can get us on the website, which is the contact page there. Or if you prefer social media, we're on Twitter at NASA underscore never and Instagram at never straight answer. Um, we're available on all podcast platforms, wherever you get your podcasts from, you are available. So go over and subscribe. We're on YouTube and we're pretty much everywhere. So everywhere take the time the to. Go and do that. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your nana. Tell your mum. Tell your fucking postman for all I care. Knocking your next door neighbour. Hey, your postman might be actually kind of happy to listen to a podcast. He's got a lot of work walking around to do in it. Yeah, Yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. If you if just know someone who's um, but fucking council worker. Where's the tin file at? You know what to do. Send them our way. Um, You can check our (laughs) website out at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. Yeah, and I think that's about it. No, there's one thing I do. Go on, what for not I've done? got a second clue. 
Oh, God, I think we've got a second clue. We have the second clue. Go for it. What's yeah. the second clue? Which is... I didn't we get, they, get the third sec, third clue in either. We only got two this We've got week. two clues, right? Okay, yeah, go for yeah. it. Uh, they have a land. They have a land? They have a land. So the first clue was they come in all shapes, colours and shapes, sizes. sizes, yes. And the second clue is they have... A land. Oh, I'm stumped on this one. Well, if you think you know what it Mr. Taylor is talking about, idea. what it is in Britain, it is in Britain. I'll give you that. Scottish. <laughs> no, oh, I well, don't they know. do have the land, but so uh, the Welsh. No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Oh, well, man, you've made me go think all Think about it, well... What, no, let's what, not go... Right, yeah. well, let's just... If you know yeah, the answer, let, let if the you think you know it. the answer, then... You know what to do, send us an email. You'll be, you'll be hitting yourself later on, if I tell you. Smir- <laughs> I keep thinking Wombles. Wombles? Yeah, yeah, they've got, oh, like, the, the Bulgarian common. Right, oh, well, yeah, right. right, I'm out of here. Right, yeah. I've been Gaz. Yeah. I've been Taylor. We've been the Never A Straight Answer podcast. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Out. Yes. Oh,